All right, we're going to finally break. Bill Burr is here playing Caroline's all this weekend. Oh, shit. Burr. He enters there the studio as, as we take a break. Hey, Hi, Bill. Good but we haven't uh, taken a break yet, so we're going to do that, and we'll get to Bill Burr next. Yes. Stay there. Bill. Let's do this. Bill Burr in studio playing Caroline's all weekend long, and Roland just uh, walked in here to tell me that all the shows are sold out except for Sunday night at 1030. The added show Sunday, 212-757-4100. And even those tickets, uh, Roland's saying not many left for Sunday's 1030 show. That means Bill Burr is fucking huge. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have this YouTube video where I get kicked in the balls on a unicycle, and it went viral. That's how you make it now. Has nothing to do with material. <laughs> yeah, just... I like how there was no laugh. People were like, really? Is that yeah. what you did? We don't know. Yeah, it's like you any, never know it's now. anything but the jokes now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, me and Bill were talking a little hockey, and uh, yeah. I think we're both in a Are you going to agree to what I said? Okay, my heart says the Bruins. You have to say the Bruins because you're a thing. Boston guy. Right, but I. Uh, this is the best I'll say. I have a bad feeling that not only Tampa's going to win the series, I think that they're going to win the whole thing. I think so, too. That's that's who I'm saying is winning the Stanley Cup this I don't, year. I just, I it's don't... only down to four teams, so it's pretty easy to say that now. But I think I think the Tampa Bay Lightning have uh, the skills, and they got the hot goalie right now. Yeah. They, 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 who... got, they got three fucking snipers, right. as they say in Boston. And I, I don't believe in Vancouver and San Jose because they, they're playing streaky hockey, uh -huh. which you can't do in the playoffs. I'll tell you, if I'm Vancouver, i got to be thinking. I really, sound, <laughs> I really sound like one of those morons, but I, that's what I, I really – and I just – And look at Rollison. He starts out on the Islanders, who didn't have a chance after November 1st, and now he's got a, a run at the Stanley Cup at 43 years old. I know. But Fuck. we actually knocked him out of the game last uh, – Last time, I, I, I thought you know who's the funniest guy to watch who, to read about hockey is uh, in Boston uh, is uh, Dan Shaughnessy because uh, he, he fucking hate that he guy. watches he doesn't watch any of it and he knows nothing about hockey but everything about the Red Sox so somehow <laughs> he builds every article around like, I'm telling you people in Boston just watch that subtly how he'll work he worked in like when we were playing uh, the Canadians he worked in the Curse of the Babe right. that was the foundation of his article Boston Bruins versus uh, he, he like <laughs> last babe. last article I read that, that that he wrote about hockey he actually worked the pesky pole into it. <laughs> I'm like Jesus the pesky pole. No, Oh, it, it, yeah. re it reads like some kid, you know, when you had those blue book tests and you didn't know the answer, and you're like, "All right, I got, I got to fill up three fucking pages here." So <laughs> yeah. I, I am really, really, really excited. You know, you the said, guy looks exactly like Eastside Dave, by the way. Another Eastside Dave look like. Wow. No, but that guy, that guy knows baseball. He yeah, knows but, basketball, but he does not know hockey. Let me so let me take that. Let he me just, take, he, he, he filibusters his way through the whole thing. <laughs> let me take that thought. Another guy that is a hardcore sports guy for the city that does. And no hockey. Mike and uh, the Mad Dog, when they were the big fucking sports uh, show here in New York, never right. talked hockey, and and basically no. admitted they didn't like it. And now that well, they're that, that's now better, that it's two separate, pretending. but now it's two separate sports shows. Both of them don't really do the hockey thing. They do a little bit. How are you? You're you're a sports talk. A sports talk guy, right. and you don't do hockey. I don't no, understand. That's, that's why I love. And hockey. this guy doesn't do it either. Up that's, there in Boston. That's why I love it. Hockey but, is a rogue sport. They even are, for the guys that are supposed to follow, a it. rogue sport it is for they, their job. They allow fighting. Most yeah. people don't understand why do they let them fight. You know, and like I love when people ask me that question because then I just know I don't need to talk to you for the rest of the <laughs> evening because I never questioned it. The first time I saw it, I'm like, they can fight. This, this is, is awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. That's what a hockey fan Of course, fans you don't even think twice about it. Yeah. And you understand why the fight is important in hockey. That's why when the NHL tries to fucking clean it up a little bit, they're stupid. It's an intimidation thing, you know? Do you, do you know that to start the, uh, I think to start the Sharks-Vancouver series, the two captains are out there. Uh, I think I think Kessler's the captain. I don't know. But uh, what's his face? Uh, Jesus Christ. Joe Thornton. They come up for the opening face-off. Two goal-scoring all-stars. And Thornton looks at Kessler and goes, want to fight? <laughs> just to start. You know how awesome the series would be if they did that? <laughs> just Kessler. started yeah, he duking just... it out. Right there. Yeah, two goal scores. Yeah. It'd be like you went to high school and the two nerds just started battling it out. <laughs> People would be like, oh, fuck, yeah. everybody. This, this is, is going to be awesome. This is great. That gets everyone yeah. pumped instead of the yeah. enforcers going at it. Like, what? Is this really happening? Are you kidding or no? No, he was dead serious. serious. Yeah, yeah. That's what hockey's just great. <laughs> I don't really have it. I don't have yeah. a team in it. I don't even have a second tier team in it right now. So it's kind of tough to watch. Yeah, I got to say. But I think Tampa Bay's going to win it. Yeah. I didn't even know Rolson got knocked out uh, the other night. I didn't, I didn't see that game. But the violence kids are watching, they're just going to emulate it. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do baseball anymore at all.
I'm oh. slowly coming around. I, I haven't watched in two years. Once, uh, really? Once uh, one particular Red Sox, my favorite Red Sox, tested positive oh. for something, and I was just like, ah, you know what? I can't. I can't. Who's your favorite Red Sox? I'm not even going to say his name. Okay. I'm going to say his name, but he did a lot of damage. A lot of damage to the Yankees. And I was like, finally, this is the savior. And then two years later, oh, eventually, he was on horse tranquil. We haven't proven it yet. And oh, I'm like, fuck. ah. Just are you really gonna are you gonna take the fairy tale away from me, living vicariously through this as if something great actually happened in my life? <laughs> Figures, right? Yeah. So I, I haven't. But they made all did watch. steroids. Just about all of them. The only ones yipping about it well, are the I, ones that I, didn't. I still count the uh, whatever we did against the Yankees because our roided up guys beat your roided up guys. It was it was a fair. Oh, there You're you talking go. about Anthony? I, I'm a Mets fan. Oh. Yeah, well, exactly. yeah, you guys took the roids for some reason. But I'm not really a Mets they, fan. They didn't take with the Mets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got some shitty roids. They, they had a horrible dealer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they cut your shit with, but... Uh, they were buying them from Bernie Madoff. You yeah, didn't get the good stuff, yeah. <laughs> made you <laughs> peter out in the end of September. <laughs> Sorry, was that, yeah, uh, was that too no, it was my, it was No, it was my Bernie Madoff riff. What? Hysterical. Horrendous. <laughs> that was good. It was terrible. Oh, I liked mm, it. Yeah. All right, thanks. <laughs> you wedged it in there kind of nicely. Yeah. I thought it'd be clever because the whole scandal, but I was wrong. I mean, you picked a, an old scandal. Yeah, I know, but it's like my bumper sticker says, clever doesn't always equal funny. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. Selling those after the anti-social uh, shows, are you? <laughs> yes, I've been opening yeah. with that. It's been getting big laughs all over. Look at I love when the little kids fucking fight because they're, no they're, they're emulating their fucking fight. Go on, fucking hero. Let me. I'll watch you. That is hilarious. Kids, what happened to the ah, two little? Kids I've learned that on ass. YouTube. Anytime anybody says "best something something ever," it never it is. It sucks. It never is. But that's like the joke. <clears throat> I can. Uh, I, I get tweeted links that just say, "Hey Anthony," and it's a link, and then I take the time to click on it. And I'm like, what the. Fuck did I do that? Oh, yeah. no. It's <laughs> never good. It's no. never good. And it's usually some piece of shit that I've seen I, I already. Got, I got a good one. I got a good one. Type in uh oh. teacher hits student. <laughs> Dude, this is like one of the greatest uh oh. slaps to the head I've ever seen. <laughs> teacher hits student. Uh, right here. Right here. Uh, teacher right. hits teacher hits student crazy wow. See, there's two people that sort of joshing with each other. Yeah. Every time the yeah. teacher turns around, they're fucking with each other. The kids are. Turn it more towards us, Sam. The teacher keeps catching them. This is the second time. Do not do this. Oh, shit. Does it again when the teacher turns? Oh, oh, is that real? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Why did, did they he stop the camera him? right after that? Because they're probably afraid they were next. Yeah. Watch how he braces himself like he's going to do something. He sort of leans to the left and then freezes and takes it right in the chin. Watch. Oh, bam. Oh, 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 oh. He fucking open See, hand I'm going to tell you right him. now, that's why other countries are catching up with America. Because that's, that's right. still legal. Look at that. That's right. You shut the fuck Man, up when the teacher's talking. He windmilled him. He, right. came, he came all the way around. There's no excuse that that kid couldn't block that. Yeah, true. He, hey. he, he telegraphed it. More importantly, who's the douchebag that had to dislike that? Probably video? the guy who is probably the one who got knocked on the floor. <laughs> yeah, there's always well, that, that little would be, dislike. <laughs> that would be still ringing. <laughs> <laughs> that would be un, you know, that, we can understand that, but uh, yeah, who's the guy? Who, who's the it? asshole that has to dislike that? To is there different? one dislike? That's a great video. Twenty-eight dislikes. That's Seriously, to that guy. Fuck! What a lesson we learned here. Don't fuck around in this guy's class. <laughs> that's that's a great video. Uh, Bill Burr's right. Uh, We'll tweet uh, that see, shit no one, no, no one fucking sends me those, though. There's another one in there. There's, there's some fight at, like, a Del Taco, and it's it's three against two, and the to two, the kids who just have two, they win, and there's the, one of the kids who starts it with the three. He he gets knocked out three times in this fight. It's, fu <laughs> oh, it's fucking amazing. Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> he catches a... Uh, he goes to punch one kid, and he misses, and then he's just sort of his chin's hanging out there, and oh. the other kid steps in. Hits him, and he does that classic lawn dart fall, you know, where your whole body just goes limp like a slinky, <laughs> and you just go head first into the, like, the dirty tiles of a fast food restaurant, and then he slides from the grease from the French fries a little bit, right? Then the other, then it's now uh, it's two on two, right? Then the he he comes to right as he comes to, somebody kicks him in the face, he's out again, and then the third wow. time, yeah, oh, it's, yeah, he he gets oh. like basically th uh, probably three concussions in this fight brutal yeah never lands a punch <laughs> it really is i i do like the fight uh, videos uh especially fast food fights i, I like those
Because they're always like, oh, shit, this is cray, cray, oh, yeah. motherfucker. Look at that. And they always got to turn the yeah. camera on and go, this crazy fighting. Yeah. Because <laughs> they got to get the themselves yeah. This is getting on YouTube. And, and, and they, there, there's some good fights in there, too. You know, you yeah. get to an economic oh, yeah. level where it's, you know, me or you. Yeah. You know, when you're, when you're in there with the whole family getting the 99 cent meal. Yeah, yeah. There, oh, that's a good punch. Oh. There was, a, there was a video that um, I saw yesterday. I guess some guys are playing shenanigans with that purse. You see that one? There's a purse on some a string. Some tomfoolery, Anthony? Some tomfoolery huh. and shenanigan guy. Uh, and, and they had a purse on a, on a string, and it was in the middle of the road. Oh, that's hilarious. And people were, like, stopping to get it. And when they pulled, reached down to get it, they'd pull the fucking thing, <laughs> and it would scare the <laughs> shit out of people. And it was all fun and games and funny. And that's hilarious. So this black couple pulls up. And the woman uh, gets out. She goes to get the purse, and and she, it gets pulled away, and she goes, ah! like it, it freaked her out. Right. So she gets back into the vehicle, and I guess goes around the block, and the kids reposition the purse. So she drives and stops right on top of the string. And so they try to pull it, and it's hitting the tire. And then she gets out and starts pulling on the fucking pocketbook and breaks it from the string. To fuck up these kids' gag, I guess. Jesus. So then the kid walks up and goes, hey, give me my purse back and shit. And uh, this black guy gets out of the fucking car, takes his shirt off. He's built like a brick shit house, and just right. going, go to fuck home, man. Go home. You best go home. He's ready to kick the shit out of this little <laughs> prank, prankster white kid. <laughs> and I think the only thing that stopped him was the um, his chick kind of was getting in between like, you know, if you beat up this little white kid, you're going to fucking yeah, jail. No, it's over. Why well, get so mad? Because you got to end up on YouTube. I don't know. It's fucking. It's, it, it was. I don't know. Maybe the purse matched her shoes. And she <laughs> yeah, yeah to... she really wanted it. <laughs> but this guy just instantly gets out of the car, takes his shirt off, and now he's just fucking showing these amazing fucking muscles and shit. He's like, ah. Ready? He'd have killed the kid too. That's really old school. Did he put his hands up like the fighting? He was Irish? like, yeah, the fighting <laughs> Irish stance. Yeah. Come on, see? Yeah. Put up your dukes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? The Marcus of Queensberry rules? Uh, is that what you have to fight by? Put are, him. Up, put him up. Put him. What are the rules? I don't know. You just gotta fucking uh, punch someone in the face till they fall down. Yeah. That's that. No, there are. Yeah, there are no rules. rules. Yeah. On, a, on a street fight, there are no rules. Just hope it, there's no camera around when they see the dirty shit. That's it. That would get you a twenty game suspension. There's. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when movies have like clever moments like that. There's only two rules. Number one, obey the rules. Number two, there are no rules. Ugh. You, know you didn't like about? that in Fight Club? <laughs> yeah, he goes, you, know what I'm you didn't like that in Fight Club? Is it in Fight Club? Oh, well, sorta. No, I don't. You no, know, you don't. Uh, rule number one. <laughs> rule number one was, you know, I don't think, you Jim, don't I don't think we quite knew what you were about talking about. about. We didn't quite know what Jim was talking about. What he said was actually hilarious. And then when we didn't react, he just goes, "You know what you I'm talking about?" <laughs> 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 that was the equivalent of I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. I'm, being, I'm not trying to make a joke here. Aside, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I did do that. I hope you picked that up. <laughs> uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bill Burr. Big story. Uh, yeah, that's you know, now we're so hearing the love child is what in college? I mean, fourteen. His age gets yeah, it was 10. older every day. Now, well, now, it's, now we're uh, up to fourteen. 14 14 year old but, and the uh, pictures uh the pictures look exactly like a young arnold what's your take on this because we're basically saying what a pig the woman's a um, slob, she's man. a fucking yeah. pig it's a little reckless <laughs> uh, yeah. Tad reckless. Look, I mean, know, even the younger version of who, her. Is, yeah, but it's rough thing. to look at. Here's, here's a th oh, dude. I'm telling you right now, she she did some things to him that his wife never did. <laughs> well, exactly. that's okay. yeah. Come we'll on, figure man. that out. Uh, you know mm. what? I thought that that was actually. T I didn't say it said TMZ. I thought that was actually writing on her dress, like, yeah. <laughs> like some new <laughs> style of clothes. Um, what do I think? Uh, who hasn't? Sh you know, shit. Will yeah. you eat? You know, we've all done it. The next day, woken up, going, "Good lord, my two worlds have just collided. Uh, how am I gonna? Uh, how am I gonna uh, finesse this one?" But this guy I was saying to Jim, he took uh, shitting where you eat to the to the to the <laughs> end. Yeah. I don't know where you go beyond that. Mm -hmm. That's as close as you can get, really. Yeah. Yeah, she she was at the house talking with the wife. The wife was commiserating about Arnold's affairs with her. Really? She was complaining he has affairs, 
And the woman's like, well, it's just the way he is. And can I guarantee you, can Maria you Schre- believe that? Well, yeah, believe uh, it or not, I can. Yeah. <laughs> Maria Schreiber <laughs> probably said one thing that made this woman want to fuck him. Like, he just can't. I mean, this big Austrian cock is so thick. I don't know how anybody <laughs> takes it. That lady's a little <laughs> her head. If like, she oh. was the house, the house person there, that means when she had a kid, at some point, what's her name, Maria? Maria. Yeah. She probably held the baby oh, yeah. and took oh, a picture. Oh, yeah. yeah. They had them five days apart. They had kids five days apart. Oh, look at her face. Arnold it's kind of going like, Ooh, huh, yeah. that's, uh, that jaw's awful wide. Baby had a little flat top and sunglasses <laughs> on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it Kid the Terminator. <laughs> oh, Chip. <laughs> oh, fucking Chip. Well, now uh, our pal Ian Halpern saying there could be up to six six women or six other children. Six other children, I think. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you, I, I think you can't judge somebody. For doing some shit like that until you've been in their position with that level of temptation i think it's very easy to be an out of shape slob shuffling to and from your piece of shit <laughs> you know <laughs> i saw this thing one time uh russ Maneev told me about this show they were showing people who won the lottery and how oh, it it's, ru- a, it's the greatest show how it ruined their lives there yeah. was this guy one after another big slob worked at like a home depot or something you know Lo- married his high school sweetheart, oh, love of shit. his life, yeah, just yeah. one of these great guys. If he died straight to heaven, express <laughs> lane, right? Never did anything bad. He wins the lottery. All of a sudden, the hottie at home, de- or whatever the fucking place was, starts paying attention to him, and he didn't know how to handle it. Next thing you know, he starts banging her. He gets caught. His wife goes, it's over. He, and he goes, fine. He moves out. And after three days, he's like, what am I doing? So he oh. calls her up to get her back, and the wife says, go fuck yourself. And then he hangs up all dejected. And then she goes, what am I doing? So then she drives over there to reconcile with him. And by the time she got over there, the guy killed himself. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. This guy stepped into Schwarzenegger's world for like three weeks. And he couldn't and handle it. he couldn't it. take he it. offed himself. And Schwarzenegger for 14 this years. This poor bastard has had to live with his fame and power. Yeah, for thirty years, he's Poor a victim. Guy. <laughs> he's a victim. But why not? Why not play it safe, there, Bill Burr? That's my question. Wear a bag, or maybe pull out. Make sure you're not nah, getting women pregnant. Because look, the same way old people still say "colored" instead of African American, <laughs> this guy is not going to wear a bag. He came up in the '60s and '70s. There was nothing. You got a shot in the ass, you were fine. <laughs> He's just living by the old rules. <laughs> old, old school rules, man. And probably no in the end, he bag. doesn't give a shit. He probably didn't even fucking like Maria Shriver. Uh, it's, well, the kids probably... involved, though? Oh. That was a uh, marriage of convenience for his political career. I'm thinking. You have to understand what this uh, guy accomplished in his life and how, yes. how like, undef- like um, just invincible he must feel. Yeah, yeah. There's no way a guy who talks like he talks should become a movie star. <laughs> A love uh, yeah. interest. How did he do that? <laughs> could, could do yeah. a movie with Danny DeVito and it's a huge hit. None of it Comedy. makes sense. And, <laughs> None then of be- it. <laughs> and then becomes governor. Right. Yeah. My fellow Americans. Uh, California. Yeah, he probably here. said comrade during his fucking political speeches <laughs> and he still got elected. Why wouldn't he think he could he could go raw and bang his fucking housewife? <laughs> we will have a kid and you will shut up. <laughs> and she did. And she did. And they fired her, and that's why she uh, was threatening to talk, uh, and that's why it broke. I forget why he had to tell. Why did he fire her? Yeah. I think that it was, you no, know, Maria wanted her fired. Oh, Because boy. of, uh, she knew, she found out. I wonder if the kid was just looking too much like him, and people were starting to know. There's something happened, something had got set in motion Dude. where the fucking lady All was All he had to talk. do was sit down with her and just say, look, she found out. So obviously, you know, just out of respect for her, this is how it's going to go down. All right? I'll make a big show out of it. I'm going to fire you, but you're still on the payroll. Yeah, don't worry All about right? it. All right? I'm going to take care of you and our kid. You know I love our kid. Yeah, oh, you just yeah, say all just, the shit you got to set say. you yeah. up at a nice place. You can't. Yeah. Once women feel like the, the, the gravy train is over, yeah, yeah, that's when uh, they make their next business move, which mm. nowadays is to write the book. Yeah, yeah. To go on yep. TV. You know it's coming. Yeah. The dejected, uh, scorned woman. Yeah. Well, uh, she'll say some shit. I bet she, uh, she, what did you read? Photoshopped Schwarzenegger's head on a picture of Tiger Woods <laughs> and sent it to him. <laughs> oh, Get ready you, for the next week. You want this? <laughs> <laughs> but they would fuck unprotected in the house during the day. It was like an ongoing thing. I feel, I actually feel bad for his wife because she remembers every conversation she had with that woman. I don't feel bad about for her. his cheating. She knew. 
It was, she's stupid for fucking hanging in there like that. She knew. Yeah. She had to know years ago. Yeah, she knew. So why the cheating, fuck man. did she stay in it? Because she had kids. She wanted to be, nah, yeah. that's bullshit. It, I think it had more about uh, the power of the whole thing. But she she left. No, nah, she she's a Kennedy man. I, th I think there she's is a Kennedy. I think that's a good point. There's an element it, of okay, so I'm going to leave this guy. I'm going to. But she's a Kennedy though, so she does have. She's money. not impressed by yeah. power. She's she's fucking. She's I she's don't like. Know about but that, she left man. her whole career and shit. She, uh, but that's what I'm saying. She but left a very yeah. prestigious job he to be with him. She loved him. Yeah. California. That's that's way the fuck up there. She was with him before that. She was with him for 20 years, 25 yeah. years. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. but he was just a movie actor. Yeah. Like she loved this guy. She's uh, again. She's a fucking Kennedy man. They're, I think they're the used love, to powerful people. I think the love left that relationship a long time. Maybe, ago. and I she really knew they were cheating too. She knew. I think it's a, a world we don't understand. It's a whole power thing. And sure, she's a Kennedy, but she wanted to keep that power going. And maybe that would fuck up the Kennedy power that she was a weak. You know that this happened to her. So maybe she was hoping that yeah. she could keep it all together. Mm. You know I what think, I mean? I think Kennedy was. I mean Kennedy. I think uh, Schwarzenegger was just like a fan of politics. And he was like fascinated with the Kennedys. That's probably why he married her. Kind of like yeah, yeah. Nick Cage married like Elvis's daughter. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know. Right. And I, I think. Can I, can, I, can I wear his blue suede shoes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think. Can, it I, can was... I go upstairs <laughs> yeah. in Graceland? You know, you just like got such a fan. Take a dump on the death yeah, toilet. Yeah, then he sees the toilet. He's like, oh, I gotta <laughs> yeah. fuck her forever now. <laughs> Let me ask you this: Why? What's the, <laughs> the tour's over? <laughs> oh, God, I married her. Why are the Clintons still married? It's a power thing. They're not, they're not in love with each other, but they know they're better. Uh, their careers are better if they're still married. I think they're two peas in the pot. In a pot, however yeah. you say it, two peas yeah. in, in the two in, peas in a pot. In the pot. In the pod. <laughs> yeah, I think they're the exact same. They 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 choose. Uh, yeah, they choose the whole political thing. It's better for us to stay it's, together. That's way more yeah. important than the love aspect of this whole fucking thing. I yeah, think, yeah, they I replace think love with like play career here with Maria shit. Shriver. I really do. Well, she she played. She actually got to run for president just because she was married to one. It was right. one of the most, the most hilarious right, things right, ever. Right. Hillary never would have fucking been able to do that. Right. Yeah. If I she, watch a plumber fix my sink, should I then just be a plumber? You're a plumber. <laughs> I stood next to him when he fixed it. You're qualified. <laughs> we, we enough qual is enough. Oh, oh, enough oh. is enough. This is one of the worst speeches I ever Wait, saw. No, the Wait. worst is uh, oh. I'm a something long way. What would she say? I'm. Oh, my that when she spoken to the black congregation, did you ever oh, hear that? Oh, she was trying to. Oh, is it bad? Add in a little uh, southern. Uh, you know black how twang. we do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's fucking horrendous. Yeah. What, what, I what, never something. Oh, I yeah. Something tired. I like what she she gave that speech and she goes if she comes if she want to run for whatever the fuck she ran for here in New York she had a big Yankee fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She goes, I've always been a Yankee a fan. Weekend, Senator Clinton and her campaign oh, took a trip that. down south and apparently so did her accent. Listen to this. I don't feel no ways tired. Oh. I come too far from where I started from. Is she quoting Nobody a speech? He told me that the I road so. would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Oh. And the chair of all the mayors in the country, Mayor Palmer from Trenton, New Jersey. Wow, that travel what the world phony. Uh, but that travel in the world has fucked her up. She doesn't sound or look anything the, like there's that. There's not anymore. a genuine bone in her fucking body. No, there's dude. not a genuine bone in her fucking body. Or her husband's bone. <laughs> <laughs> but no, she's, she's this picture. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, this yeah, it's a joke. About fucking her picture thing. of feminism and strength, and all she do is stay married to a guy who dump loads on everybody but her. <laughs> and she's an does, she's I'm your sure. idiot friend who just took shit. And like Bill said, because she was married to a president, she got right. to run for president. That happens in politics all the time. When one of these guys dies, all of a sudden their wife becomes the oh, congressman. Yeah, that's weird. That's fucked like up. Like Sonny Bono's wife is a classic yeah, you know, example. She still is. You don't want to get yes. life insurance if, as a politician. Right. <laughs> yeah. so not only are they going to get money, they're going to get a great job. Get your gig. But how does that make I sense? I want to go up to the thing and say stuff. <laughs> and have people clap. <laughs> and I also think it's time to get this country back to work. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is read it off the thing. <laughs> but why, why do they allow I, that? I like Ridiculous. parades. Ridiculous. <laughs> they allow that in that world. It makes no it sense. Makes no sense Dude, at all. Why is it a national story? Donald Trump announces that he's not going to run for president. Uh, like he was this legitimate. Candidate, Jimmy, that, yeah, that was ridiculous. Jimmy had a great take on it, where he, you know, sacrifice. What well, you had a great take on? I don't it. remember. 
What? Just basically where it, I can't run because they're going to no, take away my TV show. Right, instead of <laughs> instead of running the, oh, right. in the instead of running the free world, he'd rather tell some fucking third rate celebrity that like that fucking town make, kid. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, he's an idiot. <laughs> he's an idiot. <laughs> He's an idiot. So does everybody who rallies to his aid. Did he basically say the country needs him? It's time he needs to fucking turn this thing around. This country is but bankrupt, he... and I've gone bankrupt right. many times <laughs> yes, this so year. I know how it I is. I know what it's like to be bankrupt. I know how to get out of it. But I'd rather have a <laughs> cupcake making contest with fucking third rate celebrities. Did, did you ever hear this expression, Neil Brennan? I was talking to Neil, uh, Neil Brennan, Funny and he was guy. just talking. He was talking about like certain how certain rich people act, and he made a good point. Like people who are. He goes, uh, um, he goes, yeah, someone's born on third base and they act like they hit a triple. <laughs> like, talking about, like, children Good, of privilege, yeah, I thought, yeah, what yeah. a great way to fucking phrase that. I don't oh, know if yeah. that's Neil's expression, <laughs> but I'm like, what a fucking great way to say that is. God, I wish I thought of that. Yeah, that would be, yeah, that's him in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Ugh. You know what's happened there, Jimmy? I daydreamed halfway through that. That's okay. Don't that happens on the show. Believe me, the way I've been, the way I've, things I've been saying, everyone should be daydreaming. <laughs> as soon as my mouth opens, it's nap time for the audience. You had to say it the second <laughs> time, and then I actually got it. I think I'm a little uh, overtired here. Yeah, a little punchy. Why? You go out last night? No, nah, I'm just on uh, LA West, time? West Coast yeah. time. I couldn't fall asleep till 2 in the morning. Because you're oh, excited about doing yeah. the show, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I always get excited. <laughs> that fucking happened. I I, I slept I yesterday too late. I always get excited to see you guys. I come yeah. in, I shake your hands like I'm running for fucking office. I know. <laughs> I, know. I am Bill you? Burr. Bill Burr from the 5th District. How are you? I think it's time for change. My blue or red tie? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and then you'd start telling me about the hardship of your life, and I know yeah. there's cameras there, so I just sort of strike some pose that'll make it look like yeah, I'm really yeah. listening. Well, you know, I've been out of work now for uh, quite a few months, and uh, it's hard raising a family uh, on uh, unemployment. Now I reach out, I put my hand on your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Dee, 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 every takes the pictures. <laughs> yeah. We just want work. We just want an honest uh, day's work for hey, an honest I, I, day's I, wage. You see, I have a blue tie on. That means I care about you. I see that. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you got my vote. Okay. Going to get my jobs. I uh, get the job. Get get America working again. And the thumb thumbs goes up. up. Thumbs up, and I get I get back in my my my, my Lincoln Town Car stretch limousine. <laughs> I leave. told you guys that story that I that time I, I met Bill Clinton. No, I tell you that, he was coming to town. He was giving a speech, and uh, my brother wanted That's to go. One. He wanted to go down there, and I was like, "Dude, I want to go." He's like, "Nah, come on, it's gonna be great." So he gets me and one of my other buddies, biggest fucking pothead ever. We could give a shit. I'm hungover. <laughs> So we, we head down there, and we're, we're all, he, all he wanted to do was see the motorcade go by with the super uh, the Secret Service. So we're standing there waiting, and as it's coming down the street, it gets about 50 yards away from us, and it makes a left down this alley. And I'm like, great. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> so he goes into some, like, woman's college or something to go to make a speech. So my brother's like, all right, this will take, like, 45, 50 minutes. I'm going to go grab a slice, and then, we'll, then we'll see it drive by. So we're standing like, dude, this is fucking ridiculous, right? Brother leaves to go get a slice of pizza. Like, fucking, I swear to God, eight minutes later, crowd starts going crazy. Clinton starts walking down the street. It's him, oh, Ted Kennedy, and they do like this impromptu, just shaking hands with people. And the Secret Service is freaking out, going, yeah, everybody, keep your hands up. Have your hands up where we can see him. We're probably about three deep standing behind these police barricades. And he came walking by, and he didn't say a fucking word. He had both hands this is going to be a bad radio bit. But he had both hands in the air and this smile on his face with his mouth open like, yeah. Like he was going, oh. Like, That's like, what he looked like. But he wasn't saying anything. And I'm looking at the guy going, this guy's fucking retarded. <laughs> it's just, right? just then, a photo. But then the next day in the paper, he looked like a million bucks. He had his hand up and he was... Like he was laughing with all of us. <laughs> oh shit! He 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 put both hands in the air like he was gonna like you know give me uh, a fucking high ten I guess, and then he just had his mouth open. He just struck a pose, and, and he knew that would look great in a still photo. And walked right down, dude. He looked like he, they, like he had an aneurysm, but somehow could still walk. And I. Softest fucking hands ever. <laughs> really? And then Ted Kennedy came by, dude, with with this giant microwave head. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, how did he not get assassinated? This shit. <laughs> look at the, uh, the target. Could take this right. dude out from fucking across the uh, river. Shit. <laughs> you see, oh, you shook, uh, you shook Clinton's hand. I I more like like high five. Oh, cool. He just he just I thought he just walked down. Like like you would like you scored a goal, you know. And everybody just you just yeah yeah. Everybody, and he just he just had it. That's all he did. And he looked retarded. Where like, was your brother? Like, like, that like look? He, is it yeah, that like he was long? on Skype and his face froze. That's basically it. And he <laughs> just was walking down the thing. There it is. Look at that. Look at it. Yeah, that was it. That was exactly it. That's his look. Mouth a little bit open, uh, smiling. He figured that shit out a long time ago.
Yeah, oh, because oh, that when you hysterical. talk, then you're going you're to have like that twisted, you know, you can't yeah, talk yeah. during a picture. So you freeze your face, walk, and the still wow. picture in the paper looks oh. great, no matter where you yeah, are. Yeah, because they always want to use the one picture where you look like shit. Yeah. So here's, so here's the he best part. That. Here's the best part. So this all goes down in like 20 seconds. They jump in the motorcade and drive away. And within like a minute, all is left is those little police horse things, you know, stay behind <laughs> it, you know, and then some litter. And we're standing there going, oh, fuck. And then my brother comes back with a slice <laughs> of pizza. <laughs> and, and he goes, oh, he goes, did I miss it? And we're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Dude, we uh, we shook his hand. You really he missed. goes, fuck you. And he didn't he didn't believe me, but then he saw my pothead friend. He was doing like this sort of side gallop in a circle, high out of his mind, going, I shook it twice. I shook it twice. <laughs> 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 there it is. There's his there's his face. He knows. He knows uh, how to do the face. Make the yeah, face. Because it just... looks like he's either listening or answering yeah. or being good natured. Or he is a smart guy, man. Re reaching out to the people. Yeah. Uh, but it's not. Yeah. Here, yeah, yeah. He's not a dumb guy. I need to make a connection. And they tell the crowd to keep their hands up, huh? Probably on a fucking I mean, dude, walk this like is, that. This is, this I is think, yeah. pre 9 11. Wow. When a president could be like, I'm going for a stroll. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to walk a walk. Bit. Gerald Ford tried it. Press the flesh. Yeah, Ford tried it. And uh, Squeaky didn't like uh, on the and, and there was somebody with a gun. Like, that's why they're so afraid of letting you walk. He tries to walk, and there's somebody with a gun on the fucking. Yeah. He was supposed to be in a fucking a car. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, well, that's yeah. a great story. Hey, what, what would happen if you yelled gun? Oh, as a practical shit. joke. You're just doing the Clint Eastwood impression. Gun! Gun! <laughs> gun! gun. <laughs> you would be so just fucked. Just to watch people in suits hitting the pavement. Oh, well, you would be so fucked. Speaking of which, have we heard from Dr. Steve? Uh, I guess he, uh, he's flying up. He's, I guess he's still flying. Yeah, right? uh, yeah. yeah. I, actually, he did say something. He said, Hopefully, um, right now he's writing his fucking last will and testament on the back of a fucking <laughs> tray table. <laughs> so the flight attendant gave me the look while you guys were phoning in that bomb threat. Oh. I'm pretty sure she couldn't understand what you were saying, or I might have gotten a, a talking to by security. Our, our pal Dr. Steve's flying up from Tennessee, so he's on the plane with his phone. So I go, hey, put your phone on... Uh, on speaker. on speaker. Why would he do that? And he goes, that? sure, no he problem. Doesn't. He doesn't even think twice. So I start yelling, he's got a bomb. He's got a bomb. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what <is he? laughs> yeah, but Jimmy, I beat Jimmy to the punch because he was going to yell the... Allah Akbar. Yeah, he was going to yell that. So. Allah Akbar. I just got in before Jimmy, that's all. God is great. God is great. <laughs> they say that for everything. Oh, yeah. God, every video you watch of them, that's all they say. No matter what they're doing. Oh, so it's usually something uh, religious fanatics horrible. are uh, are some of the most scariest people because they're, they're not afraid to die on on, on all, all those guys. all levels right right all levels and it's, it's just it's like, a better they, they think they, they, it's going to be better and they don't see the irony of your, your last act on earth is killing innocent people and, right. and somehow God's going to be all right with that and you're going to go to a better place yeah. He's using yeah. me as a tool of vengeance. Yeah. He does work in mysterious ways. I don't mm. even know why I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it really is frightening yeah. but uh, i watched a lot of those videos and man it doesn't matter what they're doing they're just yelling that out i was i was gonna oh, i was gonna give you um a compliment mm. today oh really yeah what because happened? you know how everyone thinks you're a whack job for like of course walking around your house armed well yeah fucking osama had nothing on him and he had a home invasion <laughs> see it's your whole home invasion thing home inv that was a uh bin laden he didn't have anything on him. He had nothing. I got to tell you what is impressive. To try to fight him off. Is he how would've. long he stayed alive. I actually thought about that. If an entire nation was trying to get me, like how, how long it would take them to find me. To be on the lam like that, yeah. <laughs> Especially this nation with predator drones and all the fucking yeah. equipment. I, I would, yeah. How long do you think you, you would last? You would find me in a wooded area <laughs> within a mile of my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Shivering, <laughs> trying to lay prone next to a log. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, think how hard it would be to hide. When you watch those shows like Cold Case Files and uh, uh, I Almost Got Away With It and shit like that, we're on the lam for like sometimes a few years. Right. And uh, it all they're doing every day of their existence is please don't make today the day I get caught and yeah. trying not to get caught. Oh. To the point where some of them just go back home and go, I can't take this anymore. Uh, lock me up. Yeah. Like, they, it just gets them that crazy. Dude, I, I'm, I'm addicted to that show, The First 48. Oh, I, I love it. I yeah. saw, did, did you see the one where the, they ran over that poor guy with the car in the park? And he had those flank stakes went flying all over the place? <laughs> I didn't see that one, so, no. <laughs> this fucking, the, the, the case, it's one of those, 
you know, 48, uh, you know, first 48 hours and they're counting down by like 46 minutes in, they already got one guy in there, right? Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. he, he had already, he had an argument earlier, came into the guy's house, he owed him 60 bucks and he threatened wow. to kick the shit out of him. Like the whole block saw that. And then somebody saw his car at the scene. So <laughs> yeah, good, he's good down lead. there. Turns out he was, he was with somebody else. So he's sitting there and they're waiting to go. They go like, yeah, so we're waiting to interrogate the guy and the guy's pacing back and forth. Like one of the worst Whoa. jobs I've ever seen of trying to get out of it, just pacing back and forth. And the guy comes in. He goes, just sit down. Just sit down. So the guy just sits there. And he goes, uh, he goes, do you know so-and-so? And he's like, yeah. He's sort of rocking back and forth. And he goes, yeah, we, uh, we found him today. He's like, oh, yeah, where was he at? And he goes, uh, he's dead. And he just goes back. He goes, what? Oh, shit. Oh, what? <laughs> he got killed? I didn't do it. And he never, <laughs> see, he never accused him. It was the first thing he said. I didn't do it. And the guy goes, why don't you just sit down? And the guy's sitting there going like, he's, it was the worst acting job oh, I've ever seen. Oh, shit. So then he starts, I so then it. he just lets him sit with it. Just let him mulling over. That, right. Fuck, they got me. I don't have a, I don't have an alibi. And then this is when they always get him. When they take that one knee and they put that hand on the shoulder, just going, you know, you got a lot in your mind. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah, guy yeah, just, uh, yeah. I didn't do man. The guy was cool, man. He was cool. You know, He's like freaking out. I, I love that one where they do. They put the hand on the shoulder and they go, "Look, things happen. Maybe, yeah. maybe an argument and spur of the moment mistakes are made. But the yeah. best thing you could do for yourself is let uh, you know. Get tell this, your get side. This, get this off your get chest. Get it out. We we know. We know what happened. We just need to hear your side. And and it's like they all they usually crack. Uh, they must never watch the show because when you see the cop, whenever the guy goes, yeah, I want to talk to a lawyer, the cop goes, okay, they get yeah. up, they shut that door and go, God damn it. Like yeah. whatever's making the cop mad, yeah. that's what you want to do. Yeah. And it's always when they lawyer I, up. I saw one where this one dude was just so fucking hardcore. They wanted to kill this guy. They killed this guy and tied up these two women, and he sh fucking shot both of them in the head. Oh. One, one of them lived. Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah. Yeah, and when they were sitting there going like, uh, yeah, and she actually was able to survive, come come around and I and uh, identify uh, you, you know, as one of the shooters. And he goes, wow, it's goddamn heroic. <laughs> he said <laughs> he that? said something like that. Yeah, yeah, goddamn yeah. heroic, right? And then they and he goes, I wasn't there. And and uh, they they just they were getting so fucking mad because they couldn't crack him. Why don't you just sh show that you're a human being? And this yeah, guy yeah. would not. Nah, he wouldn't crack. There's three types of people. There's uh, I want a lawyer, and it ends right there. And then they haul him away. Yep. Then there's the never crack guy, and then there's the oh here he goes, here he goes. Yeah. Oh you idiot! He said it <laughs> yeah. all. Well, we were smoking some crack, and you know things. He he pushed me. And I, I thought he was going to kill me. Dude, so. It's so fucking riveting. Watch. I saw one time the oh, guy, yeah. he just finally admits it. And then he and he starts crying. The guy's like 21. It's like, it's over. Your life is fucking yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. You ended a life. The whole thing, it's over. Yeah. And he just, he started crying. This big dude crying. Go, can I just go home and sleep in my bed one more time? Oh, I was like, oh, oh, he, he, just, he turned into like this little six-year-old kid. <laughs> That's all he wanted oh, to do. Yeah. And you know what's funny is that the if I said that in front of the cops, he, he, they, you know, they would probably flip out like, yeah, don't listen to that shit. He's <laughs> yeah. just saying that. <laughs> yeah. We had offers to so-and-so listen to that. Next thing you know, he's got his own piece in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know that show is un fucking believable. Really tell you, is, they're yeah. gonna get somebody killed because they're they, they, dead. they don't. Yeah, they don't do anything to hide the witness, the, the rat. They just show their no. face. No, they they already got somebody. Uh, I think the camera crew was going in with a, a team that was supposed to get one of the suspects, mm -hmm. and um, it was like the wrong house or some shit, and Oops. somebody got shot. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. So that was, ooh. I think they stopped going out with the uh, teams that would get. Who got shot? At, not thing. a member of the TV show. No, no. It was, uh, like, I think a girl got oh. shot in the house. I'm not quite sure all the details. Jesus but, Christ. Uh, Can you imagine living in a neighborhood like that? You're doing the right thing, and you're sitting there pouring a bowl of Rice Krispies. And I was uh, like, get on the fucking ground! Search warrant! <laughs> You know, they, <laughs> that big fucking yeah. bust any door open thing that they shot in the leg. Swing and you just, what the it's, fuck? This, yeah, wrong guy. Is this 27 what? Maple Street? No, 27 Elm. Maple's oh, the next one over, you oh. cunt. Sorry about the door <laughs> and your fucking, the shit in your pants. And, yeah. yeah. I saw one on YouTube. They went in the wrong house and this guy had like pit bulls and they shot his dogs. Oh, yeah, he yeah. He freaked out. He was on the ground and he goes, what happened? Because the wife was crying. Yeah, I saw that one. Because they shot my dogs. 
What the fuck? He flipped the fuck. I, I mean, I would lose it. Anybody shot my dog. Oh, my God. And yeah. it was the wrong house? I went to the wrong house, and then he, he had these big dogs, and the dogs were barking but not attacking. But, you know, I am following procedure. <laughs> yes, take Remove out the, the dog. Remove the threat. So, oh, dude, it's brutal video. Take out brutal. the dogs. Yeah. I want to see the video now. Do you guys want to see that? That's pretty brutal. It's yeah. bad. You hear the dogs yelping. I can't yeah. watch. I can watch <laughs> beheadings. <laughs> I can't watch anything with animals. Yeah, I can't watch that shit either, Bill. <laughs> Should be the name of your next You're special. Right. Jim Norton, I can watch the headings. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't sell coffee mugs with. No, I, I, there was one on all the videos I've watched that were horrible. I watched one yesterday of a, of a dead body. Two guys murdered a girl, and they were cutting her ear off. I, but I, but I, I could not watch. Where? I, I, I could not watch. Where did you see that? Well, don't even tell your listeners. They're the, there's enough. a video of a guy who drags a dog on a motorcycle. Uh, and apparently, like, you, you'd only show you little screenshots, like, like, a, like, to, to, you know, to the video. And it was the dog being dragged behind a motorcycle. Like, the dog ran for a while and then couldn't keep up and he just dragged him to death. Oh. Like, I, that's the only video I couldn't watch. Jimmy, why I do could you, not watch why? it? Why? Why do you watch that stuff? I don't understand. Well, you have to come sometimes. I, I, <laughs> I watched just, something horrid, uh, I, I last night. It was, uh, there was like a, a bunch of people in a trench on the side of the road with some leaves and bushes and they were burning people. And they kept kicking the people into Are the they fire. Africans? Yes. Yeah, I did. They thought they were witches. I've seen. Yes, that one. yes. They thought they were witches. And one guy's just kind of sitting there with his legs on fire. Yeah. And he's moving around like, like he don't know what the fuck is going on. He's on fire, and he's just like, a, and the people are whipping the shit out of him, yeah. and kicking him into the fire and shit. So one, some, one person's trying to crawl out of the fire, and they kick him back into the fire. What? They're burning people alive. The worst. Where? Venezuela, they do it a lot. Good. Africa. In fucking, uh, the oh, one I saw hard. in Venezuela, I don't know what the guy did, but he's standing there holding onto a fence, and there's a group around him, and there's, there's someone's throwing matches at him, and he keeps like, trying to step oh, on the oh matches. God. It's comical at first. Like Bugs Bunny <laughs> blowing out the match when Yosemite Sam tried to cook him. Ah, what are you doing? And uh, uh, oh, eventually it took. Yeah. And, uh, he went up. Dude, that's the thing when nice. you listen to people complain Brutal. about their lives. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. it's just like, yeah, can you beat this? Yeah, yeah, top this. Yeah. They're burning your you people what, alive it's, it's from like it's, being witches. We're only, I don't know what these guys, like being a witch is one thing, but it's like... I mean, that's justifiable. No, I mean, that, that's kind of silly. <laughs> but it's like, who knows what these guys did half the time. Like, sometimes we'll say they were rapists. Like, yeah, you look what happened yeah. in Connecticut. Like, either one of those guys that fucking killed oh, that doctor's God. family. They should have been. If oh, either God. one of them was burned alive in the street and You'd you knew what going, they yeah, did, you'd go, good. That's that would have been you that good. classic. Yeah. That was too good for him. Too good, too good for him. It should take a rusty knife. And All right, what's your scenario? Exactly. It's not going to happen. I, I, saw, I saw a video of uh, some guy laying there, and they took these big blocks, square blocks, and just started smashing his oh, head. How can you watch that? Uh, because they're faraway people, um, and they don't look like uh, they us. Play, they play so the Benny Hill that. music underneath it. Yeah. yeah. makes it all good. Yeah. I have a it's lot something weird about when they're far away, in far away, like, primitive lands, that oh, it doesn't, uh, that would be the it end doesn't of his, bother that me as much. That would be the much. end of his political campaign right there. Oh, yeah, of course. Far away, primitive lands. Primitive lands. What did you mean by that? Uh, I mean, spec? it's not like on the corner of fucking Maine and Elm, right. and there's some guy. That I, could, I don't think I could watch. But there's such savagery going on all over the world where it's just, where, where it, wherever it's commonplace like that, for some reason, I can watch I, some of that. I know Not why. all of it, because some they, of it. They don't have HD cameras yet. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. The crisper of the picture. It makes yeah. It too. yeah. And could everybody... Like, just... Faces of Death was easy to watch, but now they're starting to say some of that shit was fake. All right? of it's fake. All of it's fake. Most, most can, of it. Can these fucking gangsters that are videotaping uh, shit with their <laughs> cameras not hold the camera like they do with the gun? Because <laughs> they put it in fucking landscape mode. Everything is in portrait mode. You see a little strip of the McDonald's fight, you know? Fucking put that thing in portrait in a fucking That's landscape funny. mode. Because the guy in the subway that was yes. naked, that was a sideways... Sideways, shit, they're holding the fucking iPhone. Thing. Yeah, buck, buck, motherfucker. Like no. It's a gun. That's, that's a good concept. Come on, motherfucker. Get the whole picture. You want to see a good What's fucking... Uh, what were you just talking about? Uh, oh, fuck. Center blocks. Oh, it's far away lands. Uh, being able to watch beheadings. No, no, man, <laughs> racist. Far away. Uh, no, uh, far away. <laughs> trying to just watch catch up with Jimmy oh, Stotts. No, no, you're right. Far away land got me. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Is the the Mexican cartels? Oh, they are brutal. Anyone that goes on vacation anywhere in Mexico, you're fucking 
brutal. Crazy. I almost just saw you two in Mexico City. So Dude, I wouldn't go, go near Mexico. Man. I'd go there. I, I went. I went recently. You probably has the army with them. I'm doing the Ros uh, Rosetta Stone Spanish thing, so <laughs> I'll be able to hear <laughs> okay. exactly what they want to do to me. Right in, right? Right? <laughs> the beatings they give each other. I don't think I've they behead some redheaded Mexicans. They, Not a lot. Louis C.K. A couple. Louis C.K. They've been beheading. Louis C.K. is a redheaded Mexican. They fucking the beatings they give these like they beat you to death. I've seen a lot of videos of guys duct taped up yeah. and two guys going at them with an aluminum baseball bat and they're just oh. not hitting the head. Oh, oh it's just fucking. Fuck them up. I watched one yesterday of a guy being beaten and I think they finally beat him to death with the bat and then they just axed his arms off. What and they the fucking cut his limbs off. Why? I can't watch that. It's hard. I know we all have our fucking. It was just in Mexico like a month ago. It's fucking. Yeah, uh, I told you it was stupid. You still frightening. Live. <laughs> no, it was fine. I had an ATV. I'll get away. <laughs> As they're shooting at me. <laughs> you should take a break here. Uh, uh, just so you you two know, a bunch of people calling about antisocial. They saw you guys in D.C. saying it was oh, fucking yeah. Thank you. ridiculously Phenomenal. Funny. We have so, two more, just too. Just want to acknowledge that. Yeah, what are the um, next two dates? The next two dates we have are, well, actually, June 15th in Chicago, the opening show of the Comedy Festival. We have three more. I'm sorry. Friday, July 1st in Seattle. We're doing the Paramount. And then Sunday the 3rd. The night after UFC, we will be in Vegas at the uh, Pearl Theater at the Palms. All right. Myself, More with Bill, Bill Brewer, and Attell. And Bill's in town for Caroline's. Only one show left. Late show yeah, Sunday. Added, added a show Sunday night. That's it. And, uh, yeah. But those tickets are starting to go. So if you're thinking about it, get on the phone now. 212-757-4100. Bill Burr in studio. Bill Burr on Twitter. Bill Burr at Caroline's. And, of course, the podcast doing very well for Bill Burr. Monday morning podcast every Monday. We're going, every Monday. We're going after you next, man. We, nice. we signed up Joe Rogan, and we're coming your way, Bill. We're coming your way. Got to run back to the plantation. Is that what it is? <laughs> we would love I got for my you. freedom on the Internet. <laughs> on the intratubes. We would love for you to, to join this fucking is channel. It, uh, Maybe we can figure it out. Uh, you think of a uh, video? Do a video? Do a video? I find videoed radio shows just, I, it just, it kills all the magic of it. Like really? I, I like sitting there. Like, what's the great thing about radio is you can do other shit as you're, uh, you know, as you're right, listening right. and you can laugh and drive and do all that type of stuff. But I just never found, like, you know, sitting there watching somebody with their headphones on, unless something insane happens, like when we threw that shit at you and, you, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, it's just guys yeah. sit, sitting in chairs ripping. I like the idea of uh, being able to show, like, visual things on thematic shows. Like, if you, you have, like, uh, uh, I'm going to fucking look at other people's podcasts that do video podcasts and just right. goof on them and that way you can put it up and and do shit like that like that's yeah, kinda, because then, then, i like that it's then, thematic yeah then you're giving them something to do but if it's just going to be like you going oh this is just paper yeah uh, but, right right can you right this? right i like, I, 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 I hear you that that. that 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 that's lame but i'm starting to get some advertising on my uh Ooh. my podcast and stuff yeah i hyped this thing this week uh cage versus cons at the la uh, coliseum it's it's real cops versus real ex-cons mma style wow <sighs> Yeah. Wow. There's not a guy I've met with who didn't go, what? So that, that, was yeah, yeah. that was one of the easiest promos. I'm like, animosity. I don't need any copy. I got this one. <laughs> yeah. I got this one. I can't <laughs> fucking believe I'm going to be out of town when this is going down. <laughs> that is wow. some hatred there. Wow, really? Yeah. It's, uh, that yeah, that's funny because cool. they're all talking respectful for one another. But you know, when it goes in there, Jesus. You know, uh, when we're in the ring, it's just a mano a mano. We're two men. We're... No. When I was inside, you know, I was a knucklehead. But, uh, you know, I learned. I learned to uh, respect. Yeah, valuable yeah. lesson. You know, and as a police officer, <laughs> it's all about respecting you know the what other man. If I was the cop, I'd come down, you know, like you always have like your theme as a fighter. I'd come down dressed to one of like those with, with like, the truncheon and the shit. You know, they go in and they kick the shit out of you in the cell yeah. just to make them extra mad. <laughs> Uh, a cert team uh, with the fucking shield, the taser yeah. shield. <laughs> That's a taser shield? Oh, you see the taser shields? They're great. You get two guys on the taser shield, and they, uh, this is when, like, a, a, a... This is gladiator shit. It's fucked up. The guy's inside, like, uh, his cell, and he's been throwing shit out Feces at the guard. And he won't come out. He won't put his arms out to be cuffed or some shit. And he's wrecking the room. He's got the toilet clogged. He's, he's making floods. They give him a chance to fucking get out, and then they shove this giant fire extinguisher, uh, extinguisher size mace thing into the hole that they put the food through, and just uh. blast, fill the fucking room up with mace. And then if the guy still doesn't fucking come out, they open the door, pin him against the wall with a taser with taser Holy shields. Shit. It's a shield, 
with this, uh, you know, metal uh, ribbon and tape on it, <laughs> and the thing goes, Gah! and then they just fucking tase the shit out and of him. The thing him. is, you, you, you got, and you have no choice but to take the beat down every time because no, I saw this guy, this guy explained it. He goes, he goes, you either do that or you back up like a bitch. And he goes, you put your hands, then everybody thinks you're a bitch, and now it's like, oh, I yeah, guess he's rapable. Got to take the beating. Did you feel anything? No. That's the taser. Okay, I'm gonna follow up with a drive stun. You ready? Do you feel anything? Nothing. Why isn't he yeah. feeling any? He's got a vest. Are you ready? Oh shit. Do you feel anything right now? Nothing. What do they got a taser proof well, because, vest? Because she has a vagina, it's gonna be different. <laughs> He's already done this know. demonstration. He did that. I like how he's a lot higher on her. Yeah. Can you feel that? Right in her pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand what that's one, about. We're going to shoot one probe into the vest and one into his leg. How's he going to do that? This, this is the Thor shield. For those of you. That is in. That is complete and instant compliance. Wait, why? why? I like the first guy. He actually ow, said, "Ow!" I think ow, he said, "Ow!" ow. That, that was it. Without the vest, or the back of the vest doesn't work. That was one in the vest and one in the leg. No, no, the, the second part of the video when they turn around. Right. That was yeah, weird. yeah, yeah. I didn't get that. That was well. well that Are was they... one probe hit the vest and another one hit the leg. So apparently, it works if the if both probes hit the vest, you won't feel it. But if one probe hits... I, I'm with you. I didn't get it. No. I just no. thought it was funny to watch people hurt. Like. Yeah. Maybe they're showing that the, the taser does work at the end. Well, it works if there's I one... I think it's like hockey. You know how you don't have that protection on the back of your... You have your cat right, right. area. Like <laughs> yeah. a slash. I never understood that. Every every game is like, you know, it's not a lot of protection back there. Why don't you just make it wrap all the way around? <laughs> how fucking hard is that? If that happens every goddamn game, every game there's a guy who gets pissed off at another guy as he's skating up the ice... Two-handed to the guy's calf, and the guy goes down like he got fucking shot. And then he's got that. There's not a lot of protection back there. Oh, you have to put those fucking pads on. It's three quarters of the way around. Just make it wrap all the make way around. Make it go all the way. That's what I'm going to sell late night. Next to the guy with the snuggie, I'm going to sell shin guards that go fucking all, and they cover your calf too. And just have the guy get take a two hand of the back leg and be like, Sick. "Yeah, I don't feel a thing." Are you sick of this? Just have a guy <laughs> skating up the ice. <laughs> Are you sick? Uh, I still laugh. Bill Burr's <laughs> shin guard. There is a lot of protection back there. Nineteen ninety five each. Act now. Get we'll a send cup you with a it. second yeah. set. Just pay separate shipping. Really? Can you put it in the same box? I still laugh at your sham wow joke. How you had an easier time wiping up a spill with a plastic bag? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great line. Actually, I think it's a notebook. I like plastic bag better. No, you said bag. You did say bag. Oh, oh yeah, dude. I wish I fucking created bag. that. That was you. <laughs> notebook is funny too. That was before you knew how to use the sham wow. I didn't know you had to get it soaking you wet, get and then it. it absorbed all of it, and then you had to get the paper towels. See, right. I went right to the paper towels. You still need paper towels with a sham wow. Of course you do. <laughs> It's just made for See, fucking See, when you're cars. wiping up something that's wet with something that's wet, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to eventually... Some wetness. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's just for cars. After you wash a car, and you have to chamois it. Paper towels. Yeah. I, I want to go back to the Thor shield. I think I figured it out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they're training these guys, saying, okay, you fucking hit somebody, and nothing happens. They got some kind of Thor shield on, right? Yeah. So this is how you make sure it hurts. Yeah. So now I'm with you. You got to spin it around. And you got to get into that part where there's not a lot of protection. Back no, there. you have to at least hit him with one prong off of this the shield. And yeah, but he, was, he was going up to their leg with the one. Yeah, that was a little odd. I well, didn't maybe get maybe, that. maybe is there is there something uh, in the vest that makes you grounded in the electricity? It does. I mean, I'm I'm really getting outside the realm of my scientific. Yeah, it probably background. just doesn't go through. I have no idea. Jimmy but just hit his leg. It's the shield magic. It is. It's a magic <laughs> shield. It's magical. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nothing better than the compliance of a taser. Yeah. I I my favorite one is the, uh, the, the, uh, there's a big black woman on the phone and they're telling her, get out of the car. Get out, get, get out of the vehicle. You will be tased. Can we play it? They're Where's letting it? me, they ain't, mm, they 
They're trying to get me out Dude, of the that's car. A, that's a hilarious video. Yeah, just, doing, just doing it's paper good. towels. Oh, paper towel. Uh, <laughs> what is it called? Paper towels on YouTube? Yeah. It's basically a guy. I've been, I've, I think I, I probably contributed to 100,000 of these views. It's a guy doing the sham wow shtick, but he's just selling you paper towels. Paper towels. Oh, we... Hey, it's Steve here, and I got a big surprise. Here we go, folks. <laughs> it's paper towels. Put your hand on it. Wipe it around. Look at how strong. You can't even rip. It rips if you pull a little bit too hard. Look at this. Take it down. <laughs> put, it on, put it on the table. Rips again. No big deal. Stick it in the water. Look at that. Look at that, it just soaks up all the water. They're perforated, they come right apart. Crumble into a ball, throw up in the air, it comes right back down. Holy shit, I spilled soy sauce all over the place. Oh shit, I spilled it all over the table. You can do this. Look at that, it's wet. Then you get a wet paper towel. Unroll it, rip it off. You pull it up, barely even a stain. You can't even notice it, it's once more. And then again, now you just got a crap load of squares. Look at all these squares. Put this in a frame, give it to your mom for, for Mother's Day. Oh my gosh, you spilled some water. No, not anymore. Paper towels. It's a kite. Put a string on it, fly it. It's a kite. Paper towels. It's easy. Look how long that is. It covers your whole hand. <laughs> you can tie it in a knot. It's still there. The table's clean. It's kind of. Hey, there. hey, you can call for your friends. Hey, friends, come over. I got paper towels. If you got two, fold this in half, put it in your pocket, save it for later. This one, boom. This is for the car, <laughs> the house, your backpack. Turn it around, put it on your face. You know how many friends I make when I do this? Million. <laughs> a million. You gotta be kidding me. Paper towels. You be saying I got I got a good grade in my test with I have best friends. Paper towel. Paper towels. Oh now. Jesus Christ. Pip 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 towels. Not bad. Hey. Yeah, man. But twenty that bucks to great. twenty bucks paper towels too much, though. No you think so? That. No one's gonna buy that. It's yeah. nineteen ninety five, Jim. Yeah. Psychologically, that number one there. <laughs> I think you buy it. <laughs> If the number's flashing, call now. Really? I don't want to call and go. It's, it's, I'm going to do one of those flashing. with toilet oh, paper. Oh, sorry. We're not going to take your money. Yeah? With toilet paper? <laughs> Chip? <laughs> how, how, how will it go? I would just do all the examples. <laughs> <laughs> how many views has uh, that fucking thing gotten? Two oh, million. A couple million. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. It's merely amazing. You guys see Ted Nugent on Piers Morgan? Uh, we used to I have heard Uncle Teddy. It. We used to have him on this show. I heard about it and heard he was making uh, good arguments for the uh, Second Amendment. Why doesn't he do our show anymore? Good. I think because uh, we made fun of him. Uncle Ted. Uh, uh, sit down. I'll tell you. Hollow point. Uh, technically, uh, we got you, Ted. You, <laughs> you know everything. We know nothing. We heard. Gotcha. Right. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Kind of takes over the room, Bill. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. You know, uh, I, I like to shoot my own two point. But yeah, well, most of us don't have fucking 80 acres of land that we can hunt our own food on. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> He's going to teach everybody. Yeah. 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 Uncle he, Ted will show you how to make the bison. Great. You hunt deer. <laughs> and I'll go to the fucking supermarket. <laughs> you're, you're terrific and healthy and I'm shit. We got you. Gotcha. Heard you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I just like how he acts like he's a rebel. It's like, dude, you're almost seventy. I know. He's, okay, he's, who, who who are you rebelling against? He's got all of his sayings and his like a little uh, pat lines that he uses. I love when he just talks about like eating meat, like like everybody's just blown away. So, yeah, most of us do that. You're talking <laughs> yeah. to ninety percent of the population that <laughs> yeah. also does that. Mm -hmm. mm, look at this meat. I yeah. I kill it. We eat it. We give it to the homeless shelters. We're out there doing uh, good things with uh, hunting and keep, keeping the uh, the uh, 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 deer population down. This is the one thing I, I, I do. Huge. I, I do like uh, about Ted is his whole philosophy of securing your perimeter. Yeah, I totally believe in that. Like, yes, yeah. Like the end of his movie is not going to be like Scarface. No, you must keep your perimeter yeah. secure at all times. He, he, he's going. That guy is. Well, provided he's not on tour doing that's the that's the big that's his weakness. Yeah, he's gonna have to shoot his way back to his fucking yeah, black ops the, the helicopter. Compound. But if he if he's in his compound <laughs> when the dollar crashes and everything goes fucking nuts, he'll he's be fine. fine. He's oh, yeah. fine. He's Go in good shape. Shoot a grizzly bear. And just sit back and watch it. Old Uncle Ted. I'm in. Uh, old Uncle Ted's gonna be okay. Yeah, he's I'm a in smart a little guy. too much suburbia. I need a I need like a backwoods kind of fucking compound you thinking a, about it well i'm a little too much in suburbia you know what i mean it's yeah. kind of hard to have a compound when eventually you got to run know. out of bullets yeah exactly I'm, I'm gonna have to leave by the house i can next hold off for a while but I, eventually i will have to leave but that's where the mustang comes in i could uh you know 
I can do a lot of maneuvering as long as you know the road isn't a little oh, really? fucking cold and I hit a fucking guardrail. <laughs> oh, well. Did you? Oh, oh that yes. was that was a while ago. I got it all fixed. Oh, so. oh, I kind of uh, spun it a little. Yeah, I'm taking it to Pocono's uh, uh, Pocono Raceway though. Dude, I am addicted to all those car shows. I watch people right. buy. Coming up next, a 1991 Chevy Corvette. Now, this, oh. for some reason. Amico. Don't have a lot of value, but I'll tell you, people, these things, you know, someday <laughs> they're going to be a collector's item. And you're like, I, I should probably pick one of these up. You ever no, see I car? actually watch those and I go, this is where all that bailout money went. Who has, <laughs> who has the money? Like these guys just like like regular guys high-fiving and they're spending six figures. of <laughs> yeah, 68 honey. Mustang GT500 is what everybody's waiting for. <laughs> it comes out there. We're going to start the bidding at 200000 Fucking 12 hands goes up. It's like, who the fuck has that kind of money? Who has that kind of money? And I just start screaming at the TV. I got to hit. I got to keep it on mute so I can just look at the. Yeah, that's an old GTO, huh? How much does that thing cost? Uh, no, I think, I don't know if there's a bid yet. I got a bunch of them. Bid yet? Oh, do you, Chip? Yeah, in a garage. Ah, look at that. The old uh, GTO. I'd have Why to, can't I'd they have to make join a fucking in. car like that's that? Crazy. It's just amazing. But because there's so many nice. safety and emissions things now, oh, you can't, you couldn't make a car like that, that your fucking, your entire, oh. every tooth in your mouth would be through the windshield if you hit something at 10 miles an hour. That's only cool because it's a retro vibe. <laughs> yeah. I'll take a fucking, I'll take a Mercedes S-Class over that fucking day. You know, I want a gentleman's car. First time you have to start rolling the window down and actually cranking yeah. it. You're like, oh, you get a big you ashtray, you bang your knee on, you're like, fuck <laughs> this place. To talk to the train. Uh, power window <laughs> on this fucking thing. Yeah, you know how hard it would be to talk to fucking, to, to friends of uh, whatever gender they may happen to be by fucking leaning over and cranking that uncomfortable. <laughs> I, I have appreciation for both. I, I think like, I would yeah, like yeah, to cars, trannies, cars <laughs> old school That's cars. Nice. The SS. They're nice to look at. Look at that. Punch that fucker up. Wow, that that's is a nice car right cool, there. Man. Oh, oh, yeah. I want to get I want to get out the '66 Mustang. I've actually been looking at getting one. Yeah, of those. and just try to have the uh, the undercarriage updated a little bit. Yeah, I'll be fine. That is nice. Mm -hmm. You guys want to hear man. Ted on uh, Piers Morgan? Uncle Ted. Uncle Ted. Oh, Uncle Ted. Let's see what he's teaching us. Oh, today. Look at me! I'm having a burger. I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy. eating meat. <laughs> I'm amused by your reaction. You're still finding I mean, that you're hilarious. I'm not being amused. It's hilarious. I'm on a rock and roll stage. I just saw, sang a song about feisty. Wow, he's losing his fucking teeth, huh? Let me, what I, happened? I he sounds like. What, what, uh, what happened to his voice? He sounds like Spock. He's playing. It's on a video. He's oh. playing it on. What happened to his voice? Oh. Yeah, he sounds a song like... about feisty. I mean, you got to be kidding me. On a rock. Did you ever see Richard Pryor live? How about Sam Kinison? How about Lenny Bruce? I'm one of them. Get over it. That's some funny. Sh but for a man who is a who is a patriot who purports to love his country, mm -hmm. that was quite shocking disrespect. Well, let, to your me, president. let me put it in uh, official. I swear to I don't know what the story. I'm say? sorry. After making a joke about Obama on stage, what was the joke he made? I don't, I don't know. know. Pierce should shut the fuck up because he made an Obama joke. It's, it's like Pierce first stuff. of all, don't yeah, don't talk about anything to do with our country. Exactly. <laughs> that, that a man who purports me. to love oh, his country. Is that, is that, is that yeah. new guy who uh, took yeah. over for Larry, yeah. King? Larry yeah. King? Oh yeah. god, that guy. He, he's actually fun to watch because he's so fuck. The interview becomes all about him. Yeah, yeah. He does do that, right? Oh yeah. We had Larry in here. Larry King was in a week ago. He was great. He fucking was great it's on this so show. What did he think about this uh, corrupt accountant that uh, took over his show? Uh, you know what? Why didn't we ask him? Uh, we were too busy asking him with, uh, about his muffed lines on fucking interviews. Like some woman saying how she was raped in her car after going grocery shopping. And after she uh, tells the story of how hard it was, he says the first thing he asks her is, What happened to the groceries? He actually said that, and then he's trying to defend it on the show, why he would ask that. He, he defended it. And how important is Well, you burn a lot of spin. calories fighting off an attacker. <laughs> right. You might want a yeah. sandwich. Did you have a granola bar or some kind of energy <laughs> bar there? Were you able wow. to stop the vaginal bleeding by putting a head of lettuce against it? <laughs> 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 Did you throw out the carrots because they were too phallic? <laughs> <laughs> Did the broken edge in the bag remind you of your own crushed womb? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> uh, we I ran out of time with him. That's why. Oh, no. we should have asked him. But... What was Ted Nugent's? Yeah, well, let's do this. So, can we, can we Google Ted Nugent uh, joke, Obama. As Danny's doing that, I, I, I will start the clip over. So this was after making an o Obama joke. 
I'm I, amused by your reaction. You're still finding that hilarious. How can you not be amused? It's hilarious. I'm on a rock and roll stage. I just saw, sang a song about feisty p- I mean, you got to be kidding me. On a rock, did you ever see Richard Pryor live? How about Sam Kinison? How about Lenny Bruce? I'm one of them. Get over it. That's some funny s***. But for a man who is a, who is a patriot, who purports to love his country, mm-hmm. That was quite shocking disrespect well, to your me, president. Let me put it in uh, official CNN Piers Morgan yes. interview term. Shall I? Yes. My limey friend? Yes. Anybody that wants to disarm me can drop dead. Anybody that wants to make me unarmed and helpless, mm-hmm. people that want to literally create the proven places where more innocents are killed, called gun-free zones, mm-hmm. we're going to beat you. This we're going to vote you out of office yes. or suck on my machine gun. Yes, you take, can take it whichever much way you as want. Much as I'd love to suck on your machine gun. I agree wholeheartedly with Uncle Ted I on that one. I do agree with Ted on that yeah. one, too. Of course. I just don't like... I, the, what I don't like is uh like is is it just his, his self-congratulatory his, oh, no, delivery yeah. is horrific Pretty yeah but he and... is right though i mean i and he feels that way fine but you're not richard Pryor, and you're not sam kennison uh, uh, that's right i'm beyond them i'm uncle ted yeah you're uncle alive ted he sounds like a hack you know the guy you could see when you were going on the road <laughs> uncle Who's, ted we just had we just had uncle ted here yeah. last week he sold yeah. out nine shows out that <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> fucking uncle ted the guy is, he, gets... is he still bringing the rifle on stage for his closing <laughs> bit yes he is oh that motherfucker uh, and he gets like <laughs> slut applause breaks by saying things that the crowd has to clap to yeah like you know hey the usa are we the best and people are like yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, uncle ted this guy knows the joke bill in south carolina go oh, oh, does he Hey, My finger's on Uncle the dump Ted, button. Uncle Ted came out on stage with an AR-15 and said Obama should suck on the end of it. Oh, oh is that what he did? Yeah, he just said the same yeah. thing on Piers Morgan. Okay. Yeah. And he said anybody that tries to take away his uh, weaponry should suck on the end That's of it. That's a ballsy joke to do on stage. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. The Secret Service will say hello to you. Yeah, in front of Ted's while. crowd, I'm sure they really turned on him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the second part. The whole point, the whole point of your defense is that a lot of people do drop dead precisely because you are armed to the teeth not and you'd like everybody else to be. Not true at 80 all. People, write this down. See, you're so no, rich. You write this down. 80 people a day die in America from gunshots. And 75 of them to 78 of them, statistics by the Uniform Crime Report by the FBI and the, UN, and the UN study on violent crime, 78 of those 80 are let out of their cages by corrupt judges and prosecutors yes. who know that recidivism is out of control, know that they'll commit the crimes again, and they let them walk through plea bargaining, early release, and program. They still Kiss can't... my ass. Yeah. Where you have the most armed citizens in America, yeah. you have the lowest violent crime Absolutely. rate. Where you you have the, high, the worst gun control. You have the highest crime rate. Very Cheers. true. Choose one. Do you want a lot of crime? We have it. Gun-free zones. Do you want less crime? We have that. More people with concealed weapons permit. Why do you guys resist that statistic? Well, it's exactly. you guys. It's no. you guys. No. You, well, unless you're playing the devil's advocate. I, I can play any advocate I like. You're it's doing my a fine job. Right. If you're playing the idiot's ah, advocate. An asshole. Asshole. More guns there. equals less crime. You're period. Right. Mm-hmm. He just came back. He's an informed guy. He came back with a bunch of stats. That guy could have, you know, or unless you're playing devil advocate, then he just switches it to like, I can play whatever advocate I want. Advocate That's not what he's I fucking want. saying. Right. That's not he what he's saying. Yeah. He just smashed more shit out of him. Yeah, yeah. Ted Nugent is great when it comes to stats because he, he knows what he's talking he about. He studies that shit. And he's, and he's, uh, he's mm-hmm. an ass, but he's right. It's so fucking true. I mean, look at the cities where you're not even allowed to have guns. <laughs> uh, they're the highest crime, gun crime cities. In the country, and you're not do, even allowed you know, to have them. I was just in New Mexico, and, and somebody was saying they lived in such a rural area that the cops won't. That the joke is the cops won't show up unless unless there's a body. <laughs> so the joke up, and people have just armed. Oh yeah, and the joke out there is uh, shoot, shovel, and shut up. <laughs> 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 and I was like, I got to get the name of this town because I think Anthony wants to buy a, 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 a summer home I out there. I certainly do. I, I swear, when I, when I finally do uh, retire from uh, uh, the, the broadcasting industry because it's, a, you know, New York is kind of the, you got to kind of be here. Right. Um, I am moving to, I think, like either Arizona, Texas, somewhere I can't where see you I can in there, fucking Anthony. Are you really going to move? Get, I could get, for what I paid for my house here, oh, I, know. I could have I know. fucking hundreds of acres, a palace, fucking, and, and just be able to go out <laughs> the and island shoot of machine Anthony guns. Monroe. <laughs> I could shoot machine guns a, a, instead of having to tiptoe 
and, and walk on eggshells to just fucking uh, uh, shoot a twenty-two at a range. What about uh, well, your you know, family? It's kind of, you know, it's dense population here. You know. Population in Long Island, New York City, in Texas. You still you couldn't just walk. I understand. Around. I can't walk out and and blast outside my yard. I, know, I understand. With your I robe open and your dick hanging out, I know but, that's what you want to do. But, <laughs> <laughs> who wouldn't? America, America. What about? But, but what it's about, like. Uh, but what about the family? You can't leave them behind. Oh, please. You would just start over somewhere. He lives in an airport. Of there's course, there's airplanes. Can. Yeah, there's air. There's aircraft. I'll I'll make it home every Jesse, so often. Jesse James really got you thinking, huh? Oh God. Yeah, Jesse James in here. Great. Yeah. He could fucking, you he know, he's got a shitload of he land. Wants. He's got fucking, you know, you got the freedoms to act, freedom to actually fucking own a firearm without being uh, uh, made out like you're a lunatic. No, that is that is uh, like I, I'm terrified of guns. I didn't grow up around guns, but I totally think you're 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 an idiot if you're trying to get rid of that. And you're like, to just oh. it's it's the stupidest argument ever that you will outlaw them and then they'll go away. It's like, no, then only yeah. the government and, and the bad guys will have guns. Right. right. Great idea. Yeah. I, I 100 percent agree. I don't agree with uh, him saying that he's Lenny Bruce. And that was a hacky, oh, no, no, that's stupid, yeah, stupid joke. Shit. Not into that. But his defending the, the, the Second Amendment. Yeah, absolutely. I, I was I was talking about uh, the other day about um the the country and the the direction we're going in and how bad it it's gotten with um like the the I said the IRS sent me uh, a letter they examined they don't audit anymore they examined my 2008 uh, return mm -hmm. and said that I owed them upwards of you know thirty one thousand oh, dollars so I'm like what the fuck is this so I send it off to my accountant and he's like oh for some reason they didn't take out uh, your your uh, uh, the deduction for the interest you paid on your home, so I'm like, oh, okay, we'll just so send that, them. That's in your favor. Then. Send them the statement, and problem solved. I just got a letter from them. Just got a letter that said after, and this is the part that got me. After a careful examination of all of what you sent us, please send us thirty one thousand dollars, and then the reason behind it. Now I'm trying to look for the reason. I look for the reason. It said. Could not read statement of mortgage. They because they couldn't read it. Get a lawyer, dude. You can get out of that. Oh, believe me. No, yeah, I, yeah. I, I sent it back off to my accountant. And he goes, "We'll send them a nice big clear copy." But the fucked up thing was, <laughs> it said, "Just sell them those careful. old people glasses." Oh, send them the whole thing. Old people glasses. Make the thing the size of one of those giant fucking checks yeah. that they give people <laughs> that win. Just fucking <laughs> like, like like all that shit. The thing that got me, though, was the balls to write that after carefully examining yeah. this, we determined we couldn't read it, so pay me, motherfucker. Well, you didn't pay your share. Oh, you cucksucker. <laughs> no, it, it, that no. got me. So that got me I'm talking. I'm surprised that they went after a guy at your level because you can afford counsel. Like, that's what I was, that's a joke I was going to say. You know, after further examination, how much, what kind of a lawyer can this guy Yeah, mean? what kind of a lawyer can this guy muster up? Huh? But what what really got me, and that got me talking about like, uh, and people always bring up the forefathers and what they intended and stuff. And most of it's always bullshit. Somebody just evokes the forefathers to make their point. But when you think about the fact that there's no way now that the public can do anything against the government, and that was never the point. The public was always supposed to have enough power that if the electoral process started getting corrupt or wasn't working, that they could powerfully remove the government. A certain, yeah. a certain segment of the population. Don't forget. The population. No, no. Only a certain segment. Speech. The American Zones. population was supposed to be able to forcibly remove right. the government if they got too much power. What? Yes. No, no, no. But I'm saying the whole population didn't have that right. Um, really? No. Blacks didn't have it. Fucking women didn't no, have I it. No, I wasn't talking about them. They had no. There weren't people back then. <laughs> well, there weren't fucking people. That's what I'm kind of saying. Whenever people invoke the forefathers, yeah, you have to kind of look at their mindset at the time. It's like people complain about corporations running everything now. Well, that's kind of what they were doing then. That's a different. They had they had a, a club whole... built that they were the fucking bosses of and that they controlled but that's everything. A whole look, there's that's an a whole element of truth point. to what you're saying. No, I know. And an element of truth to what Anthony's saying too. There were no that's like free point. speech zones. Right. You right. could just talk. You could gather up no, people. If you had a protest, they, they kind of have been able, But they did, you know, the Riot Act. Remember yeah. reading about the Riot Act? The Riot Act. Was basically that they, means they, I can't talk publicly because I'm a riot. You're a regular <laughs> riot. <laughs> <laughs> that was basically, they, 
I, it, what he's saying is basically it's been the same game. It just keeps getting bigger, and, and they're more in control of but it. But we can't. But, we're, we've reached the point now of no return. We can't, as a population, overthrow. Cause, and it oh, sounds no. horrible. No. Overthrow the government. No, you there can't. was a time in history where it, it was could doable. have been it done was doable. if the, the government got corrupt, got too much power, started acting like the, the king in England and the reason they left. Uh, and, and it's gotten to the point now where so many freedoms are taken away. If you even talk like that, they will throw your ass I, in I, jail. I, also know, I think it's the level of technology and the weaponry. Dude, yeah. I remember I came right, in here right, and I was talking right. about that 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 crap gun coming out with. Can somebody <laughs> please confirm that? Because I always sound crazy when I bring this uh, up. Uh, I, I refuse <laughs> to believe it. But it was like this. The brown this, note, I think it is. Yeah, they could they shoot this. I saw that on uh, yeah. It sounds like Mythbusters. Some, is it true? No, I don't think it is. Okay. But they did it on Mythbusters, and they couldn't come up with a note that made him shit his pants. No, no, no. It wasn't. <laughs> yeah, like they're saying it was some sort of ray. A ray and gun. They, they shoot it at yeah, protesters. It's a ray gun. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. We'll call it the Ronald Ray gun. Yes. Uh, it, uh, and then eventually, <laughs> like, your, 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 your want to overthrow the government is overpowered by your... Not wanting to suffer the humiliation of shitting yourself, of shitting yourself <laughs> in public. But you have no freedoms to to really resist the government anymore. They have every power to put on you whatever they want. You don't own your house. You don't own your fucking. Pr it's not little house on the prairie anymore. You don't own your own fucking property. Try not paying your pr pay your income tax. Do all that. Try not paying your property tax. They will fucking kick you out of your house. And you're done. And you're well, fucking you know, done. The, you know, the whole thing is back in the day when you got a log cabin, you didn't have a 30-year mortgage. 30 years <laughs> is such a perfect thing because you get in right in your 30s at this point. I was point. just looking right. at 30-year. Yeah. Right, look at you, that. You get right in there. Behind you. The 30 years. So by the time you finally pay this fucking thing off, you're in your, uh, dude, what the fuck? Was that my gallbladder? <laughs> yeah, you're in you're those done. Years. You're not strong yeah. enough. So you're, now, you're beaten down. And then your insurance company drops you. Now you have a pre-existing condition. Now you got to take out a second loan. And then you're yeah. fucking out. You're, you're out. out. And they move another 30-year-old in. <laughs> and they just keep it going. You keep never, it rolling. Yeah, you don't own your house. It's bullshit. No, you don't. I've you're, been you're fucking just trying renting to pay, it for pay 30 down years. my place. My accountant told me I was out of my fucking mind. Yep. I'm, I'm not, dude. No, I'm not. Mine not. told me the same fucking well, thing. Fuck the account. I paid mine off. Fuck the accountants. That's what I did. Dump it to the principal. Fuck the accountants. Don't listen to them. I'll I pay understand. Elvis taxes yeah. rather than sitting there paying that fucking interest. They're gonna take I, it. Absolutely. I, I would definitely I agree, rather Bill. do that because now yep. I look. If I fucking get laid up and I fuck up my, uh, whatever, and and I can't work, I don't have to worry about them taking. Yes. Well, as, long as, say, I, as I, long as you can pay your taxes. I, I want to I wanna buy... I wanna For the buy rest of a, your life. I want to buy a house out in L.A. and I can't fucking do it. I have the money, but I can't fucking... Because they're like, oh, yeah, you can take it out of that fund, but we're going to fucking take like 40% right. in penalties and, penalties. and fees. So, it's like, uh, can I get a loan yeah. against it? And the whole no. reason why I put it on the crap table was because if I didn't put it in there, they were going to take 25% of it. So right. it's not really your money. It is your money. No, do what you want. Oh, you mean the deferred tax it. money that you put yeah, away? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, yeah. like, why can't I just fucking make money and just leave it in a goddamn bank Great. without you fucking without assholes you fucking dipping taking into all of it, it you all the time? They, then they go, okay, I'll go ahead, leave it in the bank, and we're going to take this giant chunk out of it. You're never going to get ahead. Or you can stick it on the crap table. They yeah. fucking go waltz ahead. you in there. Yeah. You see the interest it's they give you at the so banks nowadays? Oh, I just, I just yeah, I looked at humiliating. my statement the other day. I cannot believe I yanked my it. money out of the bank. They I took a substantial, it. I took about 80% of my money There's out of no the bank. There's no reason yeah. to leave your money in the bank. You're not yeah. making I, anything I off it I took it all out of Bank of America. It's pennies. And I put it into uh, like a just mutual drawer. funds, like yeah, really safe investments, 2 3%, something. Until the government collapses. And would probably know this, and maybe any of us would probably know this, I guess, but I'm going to go with that. I was telling my wife, there was a time, didn't you used to get like 10% uh, on your money 10, in a bank? 14, 15% on, on your money in the bank. Am, and I, you'd sit there. am I crazy for saying this? People or that what? had a million dollars were making $100,000 a, a year. Live, and live off, off of a million yeah. dollars. Am I crazy saying it was up to 10%? Yeah, no, 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 more than that. It was more, more than get, 10%. Yeah, you could get 14. I didn't have money back then, but I sort of remember my dad and people Dude, talking it's, about it's, how it's they're getting 10% on their money in a bank. I looked at my statement. I don't even think we're getting uh, less than a percent. Yeah, you get and, the, less and the more than money you had in, the more right? money you had in, the better interest. The better rate interest they gave you it. got. So it's like, why fucked. leave the money in the bank? I, I might as well put it in a safe in my house. You're I like, losing I like when people, yeah, money. Yeah, and people say don't do that because they go, well, you know, each account is insured. 
up to like two hundred thousand. Yeah, until it isn't. <laughs> yeah. wow. Until it isn't. Until it's bullshit. It isn't. It, it's like I've all those fucking people down in New Orleans had flood insurance until the insurance company told them to go fuck themselves. Right. Yeah. Right. FDIC. Dude, insurance is one of the biggest fucking scams. I, I don't get insurance. That's my my health insurance Anything. covers everything except what ails me. Whatever I go <laughs> yeah. in there. Of course. Like, of course. Dude, my, my fucking health. My, I have dental, okay? And just yeah. if, if they have to fucking use the, if they, if they, they just can only use the scrapers. If they use that electronic fucking thing, Which makes it easier the, the, for yeah, you. Yeah, the new technology. Got a cavity? They don't, they don't fuck cover. you, pay me. They don't, you need root canal? Yeah. Fuck you, pay me. That's what it is. <laughs> they don't cover it, and and the, then they give me like like forty dollars, forty five dollars for a cleaning. It's like, where am I going to go and get a forty five dollar yeah. cleaning? So you have to sit there and get your teeth scraped just no, to try to save a few bucks. I don't. I just say fuck it. Yeah, use, no, I know. Use, Most use people would just stuff. say fuck it, because and they know that. Yeah. They know get all amped up here. I just pulled the mic off. But there are people that Got can't it. make that choice, and they have to sit there and get their fucking yep. teeth scraped because they don't want to pay the extra. Well, That's the thing, bullshit. But the whole thing is a fuck. It's like it's almost like who's to blame at this point? Because it's like you're right. The insurance companies are fucking pigs. But then again, if they're not pigs, they'll be overcharged for everything. But then again, if the doctors don't overcharge for everything. Their medical malpractice insurance. Yeah, they're they malpractice have to pay insurance. Is, is horrible. And people money. are greedy it's pigs been. and will fucking. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right sue. now, Jimmy. There is plenty yeah. of money that we could all have. The amount of fucking taxes we all pay. If they, if they, if they, if they, those guys want such corrupt cunts stealing all of it. Exactly. There's plenty of money. We should have cards just like they do in England. My fucking elbow hurts. You slam your card down and you're fine. Just sit there and act like that's gonna cause zillions. It's like if you assholes weren't buying. Hammers for fucking ninety dollars of fucking whack. Yeah, ninety. Yeah, yeah so, and they, they, I know what you're they, saying, yeah, but that number you know way it is? It's yeah. all corrupt horseshit. I don't oh, mind. I'm if, on my stump over here. I actually don't mind if they want to do stuff like that, but don't put it all on my fucking back and on my tab because I just happen to get lucky in life. And uh, oh yeah, no. uh, but but now I'm the criminal. I'm the guy that 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 uh, Obama. I'll say it, and the and the Democrats look at and say, oh boy, look at another rich guy. We got to make sure he does his part. I do my part yeah, every no, fucking no, three you're, months. You're, you're, you cock. You're the kind of rich guy they want to get. They don't no want to get. They don't want to get those super rich guys no, no. that got an army of. You're, 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 no, dude, get me. You're sitting, <laughs> I'm prime. You're standing there with your cash, wearing one of those hospital aprons that doesn't Fuck cover it, your ass. Right, yes. <laughs> Just getting fucking up the ass. Fucking, I'm, I'm a single white guy that uh, did well, and and I am the fucking, I am looked upon. If if they, if they could You're paint a, a picture of who they fucking want you, America to despise, it's me. They don't want Thank you to stop. They're just trying to, like, dude, we've been fighting two fucking wars. We're bankrupt forever, and they need cash. They're shaking you down. That's what that thirty-one thousand is. They're yeah, grabbing yeah. you by your ankles. Yeah. They're tipping you upside That's down. That's why they carefully what comes examined up smudge you, on my fucking uh, uh, tax but form. But you can't let the people off the hook either, because the government is just made up of fucking us. It's like no, uh, you know what? It I realize it's no, 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 not. It it's really the, not. The, the it's made up of a system. No, there are people are in it. Greedy. The people are fucking. Look at the way people have to litigate everything. Right. The way fucking parents complain. They want uh, rules in school changed because their kid is different. People are self-centered fucking twats, and that's why the government is still a self-centered twat the because they come isn't from us. People anymore. See, you, you can. No, the, but I, 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 I agree with what he's saying because most, most people can't handle a position of power. They are us. They're a bunch of greedy cunts who who have. Like the, the shit. It's, it's that's like, like Schwarzenegger. Saying fucking, Schwarzenegger had the option to fucking do that, so he did it. And no. then a bunch of people who don't have the option then can sit around and judge. I don't think Dude, it's the same I, thing. I, I wouldn't do that. Here's what the government is. It's like saying that a tilt-a-whirl ride are the people in the ride. No, it's the ride. The government is the ride itself. The 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 politicians okay. are in it. Okay. And they can't do fucking so if shit. you want to shut down it, the ride now, let's see if we man, get somewhere. Pull Where do you the have plug. to go? Where do you, you have gotta to go? You got to pull the plug. The Where do you banks, have to go? The, the banks reserve. are the fucking you gotta power go to the Fed. that rides the Ron machine, Paul in 2012. Man. Now you know yeah. why you're getting audited, Anthony. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I'm well, not no, saying shit. Believe me, no shit. I know they're stuff I've said. At, they're not going to be looking at my uh, uh, I know uh, stuff I've said on this show. Stuff I've said on this show. Has kept their no nose in my fucking ass since 2000. Join the They've movement, Opie. There'll my be fucking three of us. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Leave me alone. I, I've actually, I've just given in. I just say fuck you it. Give up. I got a good girl. I got a dog. <laughs> fuck it. I don't give a shit. You do. American dream. Yeah. I don't need a house. Go you don't need yourself. a house. Ah, really? Is that how much you want? Here, I'll throw another hundred bucks at you. Does that make you happy, you cunt? <laughs> what, what if the price of housing continues to go down, though, huh? Bill? 
Oh, That's dude, they're, they're sucking you in. They're sucking <laughs> no, you back into that shit. To get shit. you right back huh? in. Look how cheap they're slavery pulling me is, right Bill. back in. Hey. Look how cheap the slavery is. God, you have an answer for everything. would be great. Logically, too, by the way. No, uh, you don't go. No, you, you go out and you buy a house where you can kick the shit out of the principal. That's what you do. You don't take fucking 30 years to pay the fucking thing off. You're better off not to do Should it. Should I be kicking the shit out of the principal at this point? Yeah. I just, I, I, dude, of course, yeah. you pay interest yeah. to these fucking scumbags. I, I had to give the bank 6% interest. Fuck them. You I mean, they loaned me the pay. money. They deserve something for that. But they wanted six, ten years of interest only. What if my, Absolutely por what if my not. portfolio is making 12%? Well, that's what people's portfolio was until Bernie Madoff popped up and until the fucking market collapsed. Well, what if you're very diversified? I'm um, very different. I'm I'm making a. a that's the a, argument I'm in favor. A nice fucking. Dude, that's the argument in favor of paying the interest. So you pay six percent to the bank. You make eleven percent. So you're making five percent with a huge fucking risk. That's why I was like, just, I'm dumping it into principal. Look, I dumped it into principal. Take take your mortgage payment and just multiply it times twelve and then times thirty and see what you're really paying. Oh, I know. It's fucking jaw. Believe me, I look at it every month and you see what goes to principal. It's staggering. It's, it's, it, it, you it's you end up. I was going to pay basically two hundred. 10 percent I throw extra what, of what, I throw what, extra what, every month what my loan was I was gonna end up paying back more than double of it so it was like 210 percent as yeah. what I was gonna, oh. over the course of time so then you figure over the 30 years how much does it fucking appreciate not that much. first of all I'm I'm, I'm down <laughs> you're down right from the start yeah I'm down already over twice what the fuck I took <laughs> out and then oh my god a pipe burst I got this tax. I got that tax. All that bullshit. I got the uh, the uh, what do you call what do they call it? The management fees or whatever. I got to pay right. every month. In the end, you'll, if you break even, you fucking killed the banks. Yeah, it's you, ridiculous. You so. got you got condo fees, right? Maintenance fees. Yeah, yeah. maintenance maintenance fees. Yeah, doesn't that drive you fucking insane? Well, I understand that they have to to a uh, point, but they're also no. This is what scares they're me. They're also raping. This is what, us. what scares me is I have a co-op and I paid it off. So I think, all right, co -op, and I'm like, I'm yeah. fine. Oh, blah, you blah. could be, I could make no money. At least I got a roof over my head. Yeah. Bullshit. No. You it, have to I own get shares. money coming in. Bas no, basically, no. I own shares. I don't own that apartment. I own, like, two shares in the building. In the and, building. And, and the way they pay me is they give me these this, this two little rooms. But if everybody else goes bankrupt... And it goes in, and only two shares are paid off. The yeah. whole fucking thing goes back on the crap table, and I gotta start renting my place again <laughs> or get the fuck out. Wait, that's for a co op or that's a contract? That's, co that's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta hope everyone else stays in the but game. That's and the Bill the can't game sell is, it to whoever he wants. You can never stop running on the wheel. No, you gotta. Keep you can't running. sell it to it's, whoever it's, you it's, want either, Bill. You, they have to approve who yeah. you sell it to. It's a, it's uh, a. Well, this that's is to the, keep you know. <laughs> you, they created a fuck or be fucked pyramid. It's yes. when the guys at the top are fucking banging people and you're trying to pass it on. Yeah, and, yeah. And it goes all the way down and it just it keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse. So, like that's what well, I'm I'm sitting there. Looking at shit, I, I want what is this. What's this? If you started a two hundred thousand mortgage today, you would finally pay more principal than interest in your payment in November two thousand nine. Two thousand twenty nine. Two thousand twenty nine. You would start eighteen years. Right? You would start actually paying more principal than interest. It would take till two thousand twenty nine. Most people can't just dump years. a lot of principal in. No, I was lucky no. out on the family, so I was able to. But yeah. if you can, you're insane not to. I don't. I don't buy the argument of it's a write off because you right, have to right. spend it why, to write it why off. Why is it legal to front end load all the interest? I get the bank has to make money, but you, you just see sit that there shit? And, and I'm, oh, I'm, they do. They front end and they load pay it. nothing. Yeah. They pay no interest. It's terrible. That's at six percent. Yeah, Jesus, it's all front end load at six percent. Just to be fair, so this is a two hundred thousand dollar loan at six percent. When you make that first month's payment, you only pay two hundred dollars in principal, and you give the bank a thousand dollars. How do they? That's how legal. Is that legal. It's legalized loan sharking. Usury. Absolutely. It's, it's legalized usury. But don't worry, guys. The next month gets better because that was June, and you paid one hundred and ninety nine dollars of principal. In July, you get to pay two hundred dollars in principal, yeah. and you only pay nine hundred ninety nine dollars. So interest. it's a buck. <laughs> yeah, they want that money. No, hey, but it's great when you, get, when, when you when you get but, from June when you get to October, you actually pay a dollar and one cents, one cent. No, that's not bad. <laughs> well, what's more? The, what's the penalty if you paid off early? Well, that's the thing. Different mortgage Depends companies. Depends on your loan, right? Yeah, yeah. It, some have prepayment penalties and some don't. Amazing. Yeah. Imagine a prepayment penalty. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Hey, I'm you lucky fucker! I didn't have it that. Pay they, it they look at you because they look at that thing and they say, "Okay, Ugh. Jim took out this. This is how much money we're going to make off of him." And when you pay it off early, 
They'll look at it like we lost 80 grand on this guy the last time. Yeah. I don't like this guy. He understands money. Yeah, fuck this guy. Oh, I fucking... Let's, let's give him a higher interest rate or something. Yeah, we shit. know he's just going to pay it off quick. My so. credit cards let's hate fuck me. Him. I fucking... I don't think I've paid credit card interest in six years. Yeah, no, yeah, you pay the be, whole be thing. Be careful I'm on that. that. This is what they do. I don't care. What, what do they do there? No, 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 no. This is how they... This is what they do. You, you got to... Uh, <laughs> You sit, there, you, you sit there and you, you, you think if, if they go, okay, make this credit card payment by, you know, May 15th. You think you've sent it on the 14th. Fuck you. I don't pay any interest. That's not like some of, a couple of my credit cards. How they do it is they send it to a processing center first. Oh. They make it late. Oh, they shit. make it late. And then they'll, if you don't pay attention, they're charging you fucking interest. So what you got to do is when you get the bill, you send that motherfucker in early. But then you run the risk of them. Actually, they've, they've been rumors them talking about possibly dumping people who do that. Because then it becomes, well, what we have to make our money. Yeah, we're not making money yeah. off of you. It's like, well, I pay my fee every year, 55 bucks we're for We're just loaning it. you money for nothing, no interest. Because uh, uh, credit card interest compounds daily. It's not like a monthly thing where every month it accrues. Like every day you're getting charged credit card interest. So even though you think you wrote that check to pay it off, you probably still owe a couple of days interest on it. But I pay, I pay it in full every month yeah. when I can. Well, yeah, no, that's a different thing. That, that we're actually makes sense. Two totally different and things. And, to men, and, and it was the wife of someone who figured that out. I never even investigated I it. I just it. presented that's it as fucking ridiculous. Somebody's told me something on the coffee cake. <laughs> Uninformed you know, is back. Yeah, no, that's, no, what's great about my arguments is all you need, it. you need one or two uh like questions fired back at me and the whole thing falls down to the that ground. That really was funny. Bill, because you were very convincing, too. Yes. Dude, this, well, who told you that? We were fucking at the diner. <laughs> some fucking... And the waitress's Whatever. friend came over. <laughs> Whatever. And well, then Danny, who's got, like, fucking sliced Stallone t-shirt on. Just... Hey, it's Preacher, buddy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, like, uh... I never opened my mouth on anything. I, I said something about yesterday because I used to be in, in uh, garbage. I used to be a garbage man. And I said something today because I used to be a loan officer. I promise I'll never say anything again. I'm in you garbage. You used to be a loan officer? Look at this. <laughs> they give, dude, they give those jobs to anybody. That's why this country That's... is in fucking the, the situation That's... that we're in. Because guys like me are fucking are, are bilking you at a closing costs and Jesus. we want to yeah we wanna, dude you can wanna, afford it i want to yeah. i do believe me i want to make you pay as much as i possibly can because then i get i that my that job when i was a loan officer that was draw versus commission i didn't get paid unless i raped you how did they hire you? They Two very similar jobs, with a juicy by the way. Ass they, said, they said, here, why don't we hire you? We don't have to pay you. We'll teach you how to rape people, and then that's where you get your money from. I was going to say two very different jobs, then I realized it's two it's very same two very similar same. jobs. Garbage man and, and lone yeah. guy. Just dealing with garbage all fucking. producer right. of this show. Now, there you go. A, a third job. I'm still a garbage, garbage man. man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is still fucking just taking out the trash. <laughs> and it's wrapping up cords. That means let's get the fuck <laughs> out of here. We have... Uh, uh, Bill Burr's going to come back tomorrow, though, right, Bill? Absolutely. Great. I, I miss doing this show. Yeah, yeah. I fucking love talking about shit like this because over the years, have you noticed, I've definitely changed my attitude on the banks, the banking system, the government, and uh, things like that. I think I'm a little more in Bill's camp than I used to be. Yeah, so, and I, and I yeah. came more Jim Norton's way where I, I realized that, uh, yeah, everyone's just sort of a selfish piece of shit. Selfish piece of shit. Yeah. It actually, that helped. Yeah, Rather yeah. than thinking that they were these shapeshifters. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what, you know what tells you? What tells you? Look at the fucking head of the International Monetary Fund. Yeah, yeah. Some fucking African immigrant who probably has AIDS because you live in HIV housing. He fucks her mouth and everything's over. Like, yeah. that's how fucking fast or fucking, and in, in, in we've, we've made this example before, but in Watergate, this fucking bullshit fucking rent-a-cop uh, sees a break in and yeah. the presidency is ended. The like, government there's is a just weird checks and balances down. here that a lot of uh, but societies the thing, don't but have. The, but the thing is, is you, you never get to those guys. The the big guys. By, by, the guys but, behind the guys. The guys hey. who, I, every time you go down to Washington, it's always creepy because the person taking you like the morning radio. And you go, wow, look at the Capitol. Look at the White House. And then they drive just by some just building. He yeah. goes, those are the people who fucking yeah, run everything. Fucking... Those are the guys. <laughs> that's the building? Uh, yeah. Those are all the lobbyists. And you try to figure out who the fucking lobbyists work for. But it's, it's all that's like... That's the most powerful building. But no yeah, one you know, they, gets their picture that, in front of yeah, it. Yeah, that, that whole theory of oh, uh, the illusion of choice. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want? Not, this yeah. guy or this that's guy? It's the same choice, yeah. basically. That's where I'm at with that shit. Yeah, I, I don't see the difference between Democrats and Republicans. I don't see a big difference. There's no single person that is responsible 
responsible for anything. Like it's a, a, a consortium, an organization of this. So if you're like, who made that up? It's like, well, the uh, this was voted on by a consortium. That's the of thing. The, they they like, let you vote where? for president, but then like like major shit that you really want to vote about, like they they handle that. Yeah, There's we'll take care. Of we'll take shit. care of that. Don't worry. Don't about worry. It. Don't worry. We got your best you interest can trust in me. hand. Yeah. Didn't fucking Leon yeah. Panetta though, and the, or is that his name? The CIA. Yeah, yeah. Those guys got fucking dragged out through the mud in, in front of uh, Congress once yeah, again. Yeah. Once again, those guys are not They're the front men. Yeah, those, those, those they're your front. But men. you can't be more of a decision maker than the head of the CIA. I mean, those, those, him, NSA. I mean, those guys are. That's the way the Kennedys thought. You can't yeah, get yeah. any higher than the presidency. Let's try to shut down that mob. Kablam! <laughs> yeah. Yes, we'll take out through the kitchen. Yeah, that was a <laughs> that, that was a uh, job removal. That was basically yes. what happened there. Job removal. <laughs> Jesus. Collect ah, your things, classic. getting this convertible. Yeah, go ahead. The French guy, great. going back to Jimmy's uh, he thing, he, he was told to fucking resign, man. The yeah. guys above yeah. him said, yeah. get the, you know, you're resigning today. He yeah, dude, have... they, they're not going to let you get into uh, a high level of power unless you're on the right team. Yeah. Right. I mean, that even happens at the lower levels where, like, unions would be like, who the fuck is this guy? Everybody get out there and vote. Like, just you just don't want. You got to know the guy that's going in there is going to do the right thing. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Please don't ask any follow up questions. No. <laughs> <laughs> I almost That's ran out of great. steam on that. The no, guys no, with the no, unions no, no, no. and the guy. <laughs> We're packing up. Bill Burr and Caroline's, everybody. Guy. Yes, Bill Burr. Only one show Thank left. You. Sunday night, 1030 yep. show. A few tickets available. 212-757-4100. Jimmy. Hilarious. You uh, good? Two announcements. My interview with Aziz and Zari uh, airs tomorrow on Raw Dog and uh, I think 6 p.m. Eastern. And there's a Jim Norton weekend on the Boneyard. They're replaying a bunch of my shows starting tomorrow, also 6 p.m. on, oh. uh, on uh, bo the Boneyard here. Hey, what are you doing June 15th? Uh, I'll be in Chicago, oh. sitting between Jim Brewer and Bill Burr, giving them each a hand release while Dave Attell <laughs> services my meaty cock. <laughs> At the Chicago Theater. Yes. <laughs> yes. Great. Also, uh, my latest video of Jim Norton jerking off a fucking burrito is up for your yes. viewing very, pleasure. Very, very, very childish. Oh, uh, what yeah. is it? A selfie wrap. I like calling it, uh, calling it a burrito. No! Yeah, it's very it's disturbing to see what Jimmy looks like jerking off, but we Jesus. capture that moment for you. I enjoyed that video more than I thought I would. Everybody behave yeah. yourself. Roland is here. Yeah, watch out. His evil, eyes are still evil, evil Roland. Yeah. Roland, you're, you're, looking, you're looking very handsome today. <laughs> are you, I have no, no are you turning back to happy-go-lucky, Roland, or are you still like, uh, I'm going to kill someone, Roland? He really is a sicko fan, huh? You've got the Springsteen stuff on every day. I really would not. I wouldn't mess with you on any level. Yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> and I want to talk about I'm, it. I'm happy. I want to talk about Ant's uh, driving video tomorrow. You didn't really talk about it today. Oh, no. Off I, air you did. Yeah, I'll make another one. It's just one of those things. Right. That Maybe we'll I, I, I'm testing out these new cameras because I'm doing Pocono Speedway uh, uh, Saturday. I'm going to Pocono with stock car and shit. So I checked out this head cam and dash cam shit that I'm going to do to get some good uh, nice, good video of it. You should do a show on that. Uh, you should do it. You should it do should. a TV show on that, that uh, speed channel. You've seen that new, new show? Uh, uh, the, the, the pinks, whatever, that drag race. Oh, yeah, yeah, where they got yeah. ra racing that, for pinks. <laughs> yeah, that guy, uh, Willie B. I, I should do radio with him out in Denver. I don't know if he's yeah. still out there. Great fucking guy. I saw oh, him. He's yeah, doing he it? got that gig. Yeah. Nice it's gig, awesome, yeah. man. Fuck yeah. It's a great gig, huh? Because I wish I, I knew how to fix up, cars. Man. All right. Yeah, we'll, we should have quit a minute we'll ago. It's kind of nice. petering out. Everybody <laughs> stood up. I have my jacket on. Yeah, we're all ready to like, uh, go. Oh, I got my bag My headphones are off. Am I even on the air anymore? Who knows? Take it easy. All right, time to turn off the channel. Go somewhere else for an hour until Ron and Fez are on. And, uh, is Fezzy going into the nut house? What's the oh, rumor there? Ant's actually leaving as I asked uh, this. Oh, but... uh, yeah. I no, I, I'm curious. We'll a lot of people about talking about Fez. We'll What's talk going about on? it in the next hour. No, stop, Sam. What do you know? I have no idea. Is there someone just starting a rumor that Fez might end up in a nut house? Yeah, I don't know. It's I don't coming know in a he's... lot, so what's going on? the same guy? Talk about it during the shit hour so I can hear it on my way home. <laughs> okay. Maybe Ro listen. when Ronnie does part of that show with you today. I'll ask him about Please. it. Yeah, because people are fucking writing it like crazy. Is it different people? Uh, yeah. That's weird. Everybody's gone. What happened? Everybody left. It's not my hour yet. We haven't got a commercial. I mean, I know what time it is, but... We would have to go to commercial. You only took two two breaks today. It's, you're writing. It's writing. Uh, I'm not here. Well, yes, you are. I don't even have control over the board or anything. You're still there. You're writing. I can hear it. 
it's not my show. It's still Obi and Anthony material, by the way, folks. I'm not responsible for what you're hearing yet. I refuse to be. What does that say? If you don't hear me, I'm not here. I guess those are the rules of radio. This being an audible medium. How does the energy leave a room so quickly? You had Bill Burr and Jim Norton and Anthony. Then all of a sudden everybody clears out and there's nobody left. Just me and I thought Opie was here, but apparently he's not. Can you hear that marker moving at home? That's Opie writing. So now you're talking to yourself. No, I'm not. I'm talking to the listeners. I'm like Rush Limbaugh. I'm just a man sitting alone in a room talking to his listeners. We're having a conversation, all of us together. You in the car. You sitting in your living room. You laying in bed thinking, I don't want to get up. I'm talking to you too. All of us having a conversation together. Who's that? Roland, this isn't my show yet, technically. Stop making believe I'm here. Uh, all right. Uh, I didn't read that. Hope he's not here. Could... So who are you if Opie's not here? Roland, somebody's got to send this to break because I can't start my show until this goes to break. Opie's not here. He's right there. He's writing. No, he's not. He just stopped talking and started writing. That's not the way it works. That's not him. Who is it? I don't know. Oh, boy. Can I throw it to break or no? Because it's up to you. It's your call. No. Because it's still your show. And we're way behind on breaks, right, Travis? He's just going to nod. Ooh, that's dirty way he's just wrote. I'm Sam, and I'm not going to say the rest of it. The rest... I like kissing men. Nah, you like kissing men. You got that? You can isolate that? Ah, son of a you. bitch. That's, son of a bitch. That's why you don't say son those things, Roland. Gotcha. Yeah, damn. Rape <laughs> me with a rake. <laughs> Rape me with a rake. Um, yeah, this is really starting to cut into some of my time. We're going to go over some of the stuff that happened on the show. There's the some bits I want to play. You can cut in. I know. Because, I mean, I, you got to throw it to break or end your show. And he has to pay the three minutes of Rogan's. It's like 15 minutes. Oh. I got to play our Joe Rogan clip. He's coming to the channel. I mean, I'm probably going to have to take a break during after Opie and Anthony Live. Cause, yeah, because there was only three Opie and Anthony segments. I'm not drinking that water. That's Opie. That's how you know he's still here. Roland's not drinking either. Ah. That one. Was... Okay, you uh. just, that was you burping, Opie. That time, that was pretty much talking. Burping is very close to talking. Oh, d you're scratching your balls. I have to use that mic. It's way too close to your testicles. I mean, out of respect, I would say don't. Don't throw the break, at least until Opie's leaving. Now he's putting on his coat. It's the Opie and Anthony show, by the way. It's not... See, you can hear... People can hear you moving the bag. They know you're still here. You hear the zipper of your camera case? All right, you took the headphones off. They just heard you put the headphones down. That was audible. They can hear your bag. It's a loud paper bag. You're not even going to say goodbye? He's so walking out. Roland's following him. Obviously, he's got to pitch some guess. I'm telling you, he's walking out. See? You could tell he just walked out because he slammed the door. I guess I've really taken over the Opie and Anthony show at this point. But I'm going to do the responsible thing as a good broadcaster and tell you I hope you've enjoyed today's Opie and Anthony show. Stay tuned, because after Opie and Anthony Live, can t well, Danny's showing his butt in the other room. That doesn't help either. That, again, it's not a visual medium we're on, and nobody else except for me and Travis, who's sitting right next to you, pretending not to like it, can see your butt. Stay tuned. After Opie and Anthony Live starts, because it hasn't started, starts after this. The Opie and Anthony Show on the Virus, Sirius XM.